Let that noise is coming from. of villagers. What are they protesting against? It looks like they are molesting somebody. Maybe they are coming to give a report to the palace. Your Majesty, yes. um, some people are beating Rose, Julius' wife. I think they are on their way to the palace. Wait, wait, Julius? The one that says I'm right? Yes, Your Majesty. What could be wrong? They are coming. Okay, go and open the gate. What did she do? Igwe, this woman was caught. She was caught in the bush. Doing an abominable thing with one man in our neighboring village, Igwe. Rose, is that true? Igwe, how could I? How could I do such a thing? No, you fully want to marry. What evidence do you have? <laughs> From the look of things, she did it too. You uh, this woman here, she did it. This woman is a harlot. I caught her red handed. No!
open that door now, the door. Open, 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 open the door, my friend. Open, 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 open the door, my friend. So, 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 so you're this way here. So you decided to show your wickedness. So you're this wicked. After you've been pretending that you're a nice person, but you're very wicked. We've done your tricks. Mm -hmm. don't, 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 don't even greet me. Do not swim on me. I thought I don't need it. Mm -hmm. hey, 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 please. Please. Okay, this is the kind of person you are. This is the kind of person you are. Or you, you have connived with her to be denying your family of the money brother has been sending from abroad. You've connived with her. Hmm? Get any story now. Eh? Brother sent money for me to prepare my visa. She kept it. Even your wire money, she kept it too. Thinking that you will not know. Why need you? You don't think talking about it. Wait! You will hear the gist now. You will hear the gist. Brother sent money for Auntie Ada to take her husband to the hospital for surgery. She allowed the man to die out there. Thinking that you will not know your secrets, all your secrets has been revealed. I told you my husband has been sending me. <laughs> hey, who told me, right? You're going to vomit all the money you've been eating. You are going to vomit it today. There must be a, a mistake somewhere. Yeah. Hey, you think it's just a mistake? Okay, listen, let me tell you. I've come to warn you. You want to provide all this money that my brother has been sending from abroad. You're going to provide it. Because if you do not, eh? Ihan make what I'll do to you, eh? And you, if I find out that you're part of this, I won't even mind that you're my sister. What I will do to you, eh? What I will do to you will get your life. You, you want to provide all the money that my brother has been sending. If you want this. I hope you wouldn't mind if I share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ with you. Uh, you see, madam, do you know that God loves you? You see, the Bible says in John 3.16, that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you look at the world today, look at what is happening. People are committing fornication, adultery, rituals, killings everywhere. And how many rain has fallen and the ground will just drown it up. But the almighty God in his infinite mercy, love and compassion has considered you and I to be alive today. Tomorrow may be too late. Please, madam, know that God loves you and he wants you to have an everlasting life. Please, madam, have this track. God loves you. I would like to invite you for our crusade that is coming up this Friday at Evangelical Mission. Please endeavor to be there. And may God bless you as you come. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Repent now. Repent now and turn away from all your evil ways. For the Lord shall come like a thief in the night. And all the souls that sinners shall receive their just reward. that you are back, so I came to see you, to know how you are doing. Oh, yes, I came back last night. But why is your face like this? Is Papa at home? No, he went for a meeting. He will soon be back. Uh, how is your son, okay now? He's fine. Um, Aka. Yes. It's you I came to see. Okay, any problem? Please, I need your help. I cannot continue to pretend all is well when my son and I are suffering. Please, I need you to help me with some money. I don't mind paying back once my husband sends money. You know you're the only person I can talk to about this. Please. Is that all? Don't worry. I will give it to you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay. My God will bless you. Amen. Thank you very much. This will go a long way for me. It's alright, it's alright. Please manage that. Bros, listen, you are my only sister. If you need anything, don't hesitate to tell me. Okay? Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be on my way now. We are not here for your greetings. We came here to know why you refused to pay us here. Pay us our 5,000 Naira. Everybody has finished paying their own. But you know what I'm saying? I have to pay for you. I'm going to say that. We are not here to look at your face. Yes. We are here to collect our 5,000 Naira. Fine, you are owing us. Plus 1,000. Let's pay payment you are still owing, making 6,000 naira. So go in right there now and give us our money before, before anything. Yeah, no, yeah. My fellow women. Did you open your mouth? I'll see. I'll see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm. And I, uh, that up to now I've not been able to pay. I don't have it. I don't have it on me. I don't even have it in the house. Anna, uh, I just give me two market days. And I will pay. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, man. Huh? Why do you find it so difficult to spring at one? I keep on no no. Where is it? I keep on no no. Hey, huh? Your son has been sending money almost every day from abroad to you. Oh. What do you do with it? Yes, man. Hide it. Mm -hmm. So you are not passing your aunt. Expecting us to pay your money and do everything for you. Always go inside and bring our money. There's no money. Ha! Those who have the money find it difficult to spend it. That is it. Go and bring it. Go inside and bring our money. Why are we even here wasting our time? Well, did we come here to run our mouths? This is this place is not a marketplace for crying out loud. Oh, yeah. In fact, let's look around and see if there is something equivalent to that money. Going, so that we carry it and go. And look at Roy. Look at Roy. Calm down. We go and carry it. Don't tell me. Second. 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 When you bring money, you come and collect. Why you pay? Why you pay? Una cano. You come and carry it. Inano? Una cano. That guy go away by now. That is it. Come on, man. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Ah, ah, ah.
Papa, Papa. Who must have removed this drum and the water in it? Papa, I'm as confused as you are. I have even checked at the backyard. This is strange. Very strange, oh. Very, very strange. But my mind is telling me that Rose and her brother must have taken that drum away. You are very correct. That Rose, eh? She's a witch. Huh? All the things she's doing now is drum of water. I wonder. Ah! 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 ah. What happened? Where did you get a drum from? I came to know what you will eat this morning, so I prepared for you. I don't want to eat, Is everything okay? Which bottle is that? This is not true. But this, this is not true. My husband does not send me any money. I, I've been trying to even reach him on the phone, but to no avail. This is my job. This is my job. You are woman. My son sends you so much money, and you fucked up everything. Even though you have a little bit of money, my son's good because of lack of money. Papa, you pocket everything! Papa, this is not true! It is not true! Even the Miriam that you just mentioned now, yes, yeah, she's living with me. And she can testify to how I suffer for us to eat in the house. If not for my sewing, it cannot my son will be going to school. This is not true! Yeah. Rose, are you by any means calling me a liar? No, 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 no. Are you calling me a liar? Because you come here to give me Useless food to, to cover up? Shut up! Look, you are a green snake under the green grass. I know you. You just bring food for me here to cover up, but I know you. You are wicked. Papa, are you saying that after all these years of knowing me, you cannot vouch for me? Uh. I should vouch for you simply because my son sends you so much money, you give us peanuts, allow us to suffer, and I should vouch for you, you pocket everything, make us to suffer. Eh? Now, this is money. I don't want to get angry, I want to have my peace. Leave. Almighty, oh 
who sees in the dark and knows the heart of every man will surely vindicate me. I will leave. Shall I go so far? Your mama. By the way, what is good in this evening? Rose. Rose! If I was your mother, would you have treated me this way? Eh? Mama, I don't understand. You don't understand? Asomo Latin. Okay. Let me make you understand it. As a woman you are. Eh? If your daughter-in-law is enjoying and growing fat, you are starving. How would you feel? Would you be happy? Eh? Mama, I am innocent of this accusation. Will you shut up there? Innocent of Guinea? Which accusation? How can it be an accusation when the evidence of the money my son has been sending is there? Get again, Ako. God bear me witness. Oh. My husband has not sent a penny to me since he traveled. In a sea. Eh? You're a liar. You're a liar. You think God bears false witness? That I lie. You're a cheat. You're a liar. Mama. Me. Eh? Hey. Rose. No, I don't make you. Mama, me, Rose, a liar. You cannot fool me with your crocodile tears. You cannot. But today, Nekwa, if I ever ask you of that money again, you know that I'm not me. But see, I pray for you today. Eh? You see what you're doing? What you're doing to me? Somebody will do it to you. You see your children, you will never enjoy anything. Okwagi, it's yours. I'm, I'm, I'm off here. <sighs> <laughs> uh, um, I have come to ask you and members of your family a question. Why are you people frustrating my sister in her own husband's house? Oh, let me rephrase my question. Probably I didn't phrase it very well. Why are you people giving my sister Rose sleepless nights in her husband's house? Why? When you're allowed. Yeah? You want, 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 who are you? Who the hell are you to walk into this compound to ask us silly questions about our own money too? Do you know what your sister did? Eh? My brother has been sending money from abroad and they're using it to, to, to train you with that your petty petty business you're doing in Onisha. And you think we don't know? Because we've been keeping quiet? Eh? On our money? Eh? And you have the, you, you have the fun tree to come in here to ask stupid questions. Who the hell are you? KBC, Robert Kisi, who born you? From where? See, the time is coming near, very near, and I will soon calculate all those money, and you must pay. You must pay, oh. What did you go? I don't know where you're flaring up. I didn't come here to ask you a question, rather your father. Yeah. So I'm not here for you. When your brother came to my house to get married to my sister, my sister was handed over 
to my in-law here, her father-in-law. I want to believe your father will understand better because he's an elder in this community. I'm not here to talk to you. Wait, 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 Chelwood. Chelwood, you mean that I'm worthless in my father's house? Eh? That my opinion doesn't count? Abby? Well, uh, uh, you didn't hear from my mouth. You were the one who said you are irrelevant and you're worthless in your father's house. So, uh, probably you are. <coughs> okay. Please. Okay, sit down. Don't worry. You see, this quarrel is uncalled for. Hmm? It's uncalled for. Akachuku. No, okay, okay. Are you saying that you are not aware that my son sends money to Ross for our upkeep on a monthly basis through your sister. But rather than give the money to Ross, mm. she diverts it to your family for your own personal use. Are you saying you're not aware? I call the money. I'm not aware. I'm hearing it for the first time. Yes. No, 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 no. Tell me. How can you be aware? How? When you're there in Onisha doing, hey, 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 come, I get them. I get the original. I get them. Aburo. Now, boy, self and now, boy, you self in Onisha. Yeah, boy, you got. No, Dimitroku. I am 100% better than you. Put 100 of you together. I am far, far better than you. I'm not like you. I also for myself. Still in your father's house, eating morning, afternoon, evening, waiting for your brother to send you money before you survive. Shame on you. You're worthless. Just bounce. the way you said it yourself. You bounce your care. Konania, I catch you, you're not better than me. Ikaro Mumma, number one. You're not better than me, and you'll never be better than me. 100% better than you. You want to compare a city big boy and a village church rat? Church rat? And I will call me a again. village church rat. And I will say to your face, you eh? are a church rat. If I'm church rat, <laughs> yes, that is who you are. Please, um, Akachuku, please leave. Hmm? I don't want any trouble here. Please, leave. You know what? Get out of this compound now. And if I don't leave? Sheba for now. If I don't. You want to try me? If you want to. Watch, I can boil you feel. With your half leg, look at me. With your half leg, now I'll go. But I'll come back. All right, very good. Look at, look at him. Idiots. Please show me love. Show me little love. Don't be a neighbor to me. Unfriendly friend. I'm friendly friend. I want it very fine. Madam! Madam, what is this? Eh? Yeah, madam, what sort what of nonsense is this one? You should have told me you don't know what you are doing instead of spoiling these clothes. What, what, sort, of, what sort of nonsense is this one now? Eh? Please, please, ma. I'm sorry. It's, it's because I. I have not been concentrating recently. Pico, I'm sorry. So if you have body, you you bring it to your shop. You cannot drop your problem in your house. Now you've come to scatter my clothes. Eh? Do you know how much I bought this clothes that you have just destroyed? Eh? What kind of nonsense is this one now? Do you know how much I bought these clothes? What, what, what do we do? <laughs> hey. You're asking me what you want me to do. If I ask you to pay for these clothes now, nah, you, 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 everybody will say that I'm wicked, including you will say that I'm wicked. Eh? And you cannot afford the, the money I use in buying this material. Look at how you just destroyed my clothes. Madam, please, please, for the sake of Christ, pardon her. Okay, you see I'm her neighbor and I've noticed what she's going through. But that's not what we'll discuss up here now. Oh, be cool. And even if you ask her to pay, she may not afford the money, oh? Of course, she cannot pay for it. She cannot pay for it because it's an expensive material that she has just destroyed. 
this shop if you don't know what you are doing here you don't don't come and be using people's clothes to come and be doing some boy lock up this shop and carry your problem to your house this is okay tina thank you thank you for saving me this afternoon it's okay don't let don't let it bother you huh? So just come and finish the measuring so I can go. Oh. Can we finish it later in the evening? Please. I'm not myself now. It's okay, I understand. It's okay. Huh? Just don't think too hard. Alright? Take care. I'll see you later. This is not how a good daughter of mine should be. I warned you seriously about that marriage and you didn't listen. Now, look at the outcome. What do you intend to do? I don't know. I don't know, Baba. the best option for you is to leave that marriage. Leave that marriage. Baba, I can't. I can't leave my only son. And I love my husband you so much. Husband. Then continue. Take whatever you see there and stop complaining. <laughs> Please. Can you help me talk to my father-in-law? Okay, okay. I I'm sure he will listen to you. I will not. I will not. Papa, please. Papa, I'm begging you, Biko, for my sake. Rose. For the sake of your grandson, please. Let me repeat myself again. <laughs> Leave Okeke and his family alone and come back. When Julius comes back, he will look for you. Papa, Biko, no. Did I make myself clear now? Papa, Biko, no. Papa, Biko, no. Papa, please. Papa. Papa. <laughs> Sister Rose, I had to rush down as soon as I got your call. I mean, you sounded so urgent. What's the matter? Pastor, I need prayers. My world is about to crumble. God forbid. I reject that for you in Jesus' name. Pastor, I have been going through a lot. I've been going through a lot in the hands of my husband's people. Pastor, I'm going crazy. I know. Sister Rose, what you're saying now is not so cold come out from the mouth of the child of God. I mean, where is thy faith in Christ? Pastor. Please, Sarah. I need prayers. If it is the will of God, let it pass over me. Pray see, for me. Uh, there is nothing too difficult for my father to do. Uh, let's seek the face of him. In Jesus' name. At the center of it all. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Father, we come before thee this day, Lord, to come and worship you, Lord. For you are the mighty one. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the ancient of...
But something is bothering me. Bothering you? Mm -hmm. What is that? Papa, I suggest you tell Rose to leave that marriage since it's not working out. Why are you saying so? Papa, it seems you don't understand what Rose is going through in that family. Why should I? She refused all the suitors that came for her marriage and insisted in marrying someone that is outside. Now, say the repercussion. Why should I? Papa, that's not true. My sister Rose married that boy because she loves him, not because he lives in abroad. Hey, love. Okay. What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Uh -huh. She loves him. Fine. Papa. Not all the time, but sometimes you have to put an asunder. Oh. You have to put an asunder until they kill your daughter for you. Thank you. Papa. Oh. Huh. Asunder, asunder, call asunder. Until they kill your daughter. You, you, you are quoting Bible. You that don't go to church. You are telling me, let God no, no problem. No problem. in the hands of the Lord. <laughs> he knows you are innocent of all these accusations and at the end, he will prove them wrong. Please, <laughs> stop crying. Please. Let's stop. Please, look at me. I work morning and night. I suffer myself. And now they're accusing me of hiding money sent to them. Pastor! How could my husband write in that letter that he sent money to me when he did not? Why didn't he call me on the phone? Why, why, why send the letters? Why? You see, Sister Rose, you never can tell. Maybe he did, but the money didn't reach you. I'm confused. Just take it easy, please. Sister Rose, please, it's okay. <laughs> please stop crying. Stop crying. Everything will be fine. Please. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. The Almighty God will exonerate you. Please. It's all right. Please. Just cheer up. Hi. <laughs> Susie. Yeah, baby. Susie. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Susie, baby. Yes, sir. Is this you? Mm -hmm. It's me. Life and direct. Direct, baby. <laughs> 
Susie! Mm -hmm. You are looking so good. Thank you. Please sit, much. sit, sit down. Oh. Hey! My dear. <laughs> Where did you come in? Well, I came in two days ago. Suzanne. What? Two days ago. Since two days. He didn't come to see me. Yes. I thought we were friends. Yeah, my dear, but I've been busy since. You don't understand. I've been busy here and there, but I'm here now. Yes. Come on. I am here now. Yes, <laughs> hey, Lassie. Don't mind me. Meet my pastor, Pastor Samuel. Oh, really? Pastor Suzanne, my childhood friend. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. May God bless you. I bless you too, Pastor. Um, baby girl, I met your husband back um, in Germany. My husband? Huh? Yes, your husband. Uh, Susan, are you sure it's my husband? Because yes. you did not attend our wedding and you've been away for God knows how long. <laughs> that I'm sure he's not my husband. So. He's your husband, girl. I met him in church. Someone introduced me to him. So that was how I knew he's your husband. Are you being serious? Yes, and he even gave me a letter to deliver to his parents. Wait a minute. Were you the one that delivered that letter? Yes, I did. Is there any problem? No, no, no. Nothing. Because he told me that he has been sending money to you, letters, That, that is the problem. He did not send anything to me. Not even one naira was sent to me. Nothing. Like, he didn't send any money to you. Nothing. Um... That's fine, that's fine. It's okay, let's talk about you. Forget about men and their problems. Just let's talk about you. How have you been? I have missed you, baby girl. I've missed you. Just me. <laughs> you have seen me now. I thank God. Mm. You have seen me. <laughs> By the way, the last I heard of you, you were in Poland. When did you move to Germany? Eh, Susan. <laughs> and how's your husband? Husband. <laughs> Which husband are you talking about? Girl, I am single. I have no husband anymore. I'm divorced and I'm free like a bird, baby. Very free like a bird. <laughs> Don't worry, I have something for you. All for you have it, Rosie. Ah, for me? Yes. And Pastor, <laughs> this is for you too. Susie, thank you. Thank you so much. Don't, don't do that. Don't stand up, stand up. I don't see. Susie, stop now. Hold oh, this for me. For you is nothing. Hold oh, this for me, Pastor. Susie. Oh, Rosie. Stop! I don't like this thing you're doing. Thank you so much! On. Thank you so You've much! You really tried for me. I've not forgotten what you did for me back then in school. I, I've been looking for a way to pay you back. This is just a little trick, please. It's not little, Susie. It's not little. It is. Stop it. Thank you so much, Nathan. May God bless you. Bless you too, Pastor. God bless you too. Come be a neighbor to me. <laughs> Rosie baby, Rosie baby, I missed you girl but I have to go now, <laughs> I have an appointment. Oh, God bless you pastor, God bless you Susie. Yes my darling, <laughs> Thank you. my God will bless Amen. you. Amen. Rosie. My God will bless you. Amen. It's okay. Thank girl. you. Thank you for coming. It's okay. This is Lick Two. I'll do more. See her car. Sister Rose. See her big car. The Lord is good. All the time. The Lord is good. All the time. 
and the Lord is on the throne and still doing business. Good yes. business. Hey. For his people. Pastor, this is seen and believing. Hey. Lord, I thank you for this. I thank you for this miracle. Amen. I thank you for this Amen. miracle. Amen. I thank you for this new beginning Amen. in the life Amen. of your daughter. Amen. I thank you for wiping away her tears. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, Sister Rose, it's all right. I have to be on my way now. Okay, Pastor. And I'll be expecting you at the fellowship. I will come. Oh, thank you, Pastor. God bless Sister Rose. Bye bye, Sam. Thank you. Um, I have a question for you. Question for me? Yes. I'm more ears. Good. Why is it that you are making me to suffer while you are enjoying? Making you to suffer? What kind of what, what, what are you talking about? Again, I don't don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Eh? Look, all the money that my son has been sending to me. Yeah. Are you telling me that you are not aware that those money your daughter has been giving to you is my money that was sent to me by my son that she's giving to you? Giving to me? How? You're asking me how? Yes, how? Okay, now let me ask you another question. Did you not renovate this your house recently? <laughs> no, 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 it's not. <laughs> These protectors, were they here before? <clears throat> huh? Now, you are using my money to renovate your house. You are enjoying at my detriment. Huh? Mazo okay, okay. you have disappointed me. I don't know what your problem is. And if you have any, this is not the way to confide in me as your in-law. Confide in you how? Okay. No, 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 confide in you how? Now, let me tell you, I'm not here to trade words with you. I am here to warn you and your daughter. Every dime that my son has sent to me all these years, I want you to calculate everything and return it to me. Otherwise, <laughs> Okay, okay. That's my name. Okay, okay. That's my name. my name. What money are you talking about? <clears throat> Listen, this handshake has assisted the elbow and I'm no more comfortable with it. If you just come to my house to talk to me this way, I have no other option than to take, ask you to leave my house. Ah, you've already mentioned it. Yes. You've asked me to leave. In fact, when a son tells the father that, look, if you are not my father, I would have called you a fool. You've already called the father a fool. Leave my so house. So you say I should leave. Yes. I will leave. But let me tell you, the whole of this village will hear our voices. Oh. Yes, they will hear our voices. Okay, okay. They have been hearing our voices. And this will not be the last one. Mm. Yes. It's okay. We shall see. Let me tell you again. Go and thank your God that I'm in a good mood today. Mm. If not, I would have shown you that I am an ex-military man, a World War veteran. That you used the gun. Yes. <laughs> thank God you agree that. It was then gone that you used. And I will even tell if, you. Even if it's then gone. And I will tell you that I am okay, Kedi Cat. The champion, the village wrestling champion, and you know me. Okay, okay. And let me warn you, from now on, yeah. I will be using my yokometer to look at you. You can't do anything. I'll be watching you. You cannot do and anything. And I will show you, Pepe. I said you can't do anything. Yeah. Any child that does not fear hold will leave his hand to testify the mistress of hold. Yes. And I will tell you that a child who does not know the name of a bed, just call it Ojojo. Georgia. Yes, you are so you don't know who I am. You are a Georgia. So you can talk anyhow. Yeah, you can't and let me tell you, I'm going to deal with you, you this community. Okay, if you try I will to deal with you this community. Nothing. If you don't return my money, if you don't return my money, eh? money. Okay, no. I will money. show you that I'm okay. You will see. You will see. Get out. Get out. Hey, like you. I will tell you that I'm okay. Where is Kaliwa? Okay, this is a guy. Okay. And Ninkum Poop. Idiot. Money, 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 money. Who's the one? Get out. Frank, thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate this. Please, if you go back, help me tell my husband that his people are really maltreating me. They believe 
The money sent to them, I'm withholding it. Please, help me tell him to look for a way to call me. Since I lost my phone, I have been looking for a means to contact him. I don't even know how to get his phone number. Please help me tell him to call me. I would have given his number right now, but I don't have it there with me. But the rest assured, your message will be delivered. Thank you very much. Thank you. Once I'm with him. You were sitting like that. I hope all is well. And all is not well, though. Yeah, good. Uh, Adobe just left here crying. He said that the husband is at point of death. True. So the sickness went up to that. Mama, he was rushed to the village hospital. Village hospital? Yeah. I want more. I want more. I want more. Eh? Eh? Thank you for the money. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Eh, eh. The way you people do the way you people did inside was not enough. Uno bully up to you. Get out what Yeah? I know you. Are you not my son's friend? He brought you Julius or kicking in him. Are you not his friend? He is. He is, he fell in me. He is, Apuna. He is. So you're sleeping with your, your husband's friend? Mama. Ma Mama, give me. Eh? So you're now sleeping with your husband's friend? Ebekonaga. How can you say such a thing? How can I say what? Such a thing. So, I must be for. Okay. I am now a liar. No, 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 no. You just called me a liar. My son will hear it. You called me a liar. Mama, he just he just came to to check on me. To, to, to know how I'm, I'm faring. Mama, how can you say such a ridiculous thing? Ready? Get up, ready? I'm deaf. I'm blind. I'm a liar. Only me. Okay? No problem. Get in there, pack your things and leave. I want to lock my son's house. Mama, 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 please. You think I'm joking? I saw you people. No, no, no. I have not done anything wrong. He just came. 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 Your Majesty, I am tired of Okeke's wala. I am here to complain to you so that when I strike, nobody should blame you. Nobody should blame me. Uh, it's again. You will do, 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 please. Uh, I've heard all you said. I understand your complaint. But please, I need you to do me a favor. Which is, uh, leave everything in my hands. Uh, I will handle everything. Please, I don't want you to do anything funny uh, with him. You know, both of you are my cabinet members. What if an outsider hears it that both of you are fighting? What do you expect them to think or do? Please, uh, just allow me to handle it. And I promise you everything will be well. Igwe, you better do, because I'm losing it. Uh, uh, please, calm down. Don't lose it. I know what you can do, please. Eh? Igwe. Thank you. Uh, just calm down, trust me. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I have to call this man and talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. Yo, yo. Yeah. Take it easy. Oh, Dilly, what did I do wrong now? Why did you have to push me like that? <laughs> Only pushing. Wait, you are still talking. <laughs> Only pushing, you still have mouth to talk. You Wait, don't say He beats you up. You still have to talk. Get out from here. Wait, will you shame my boy? Will you shame my boy? Will you shame my boy? Before 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 you shame my boy? <laughs> Rose, what happened? Nothing. Why are you crying? When did you come back from the city? I came last night. I talked to Papa and the response I got from him wasn't encouraging. So I decided to come see you. Rose, is it true? Is what true? That your husband's people are maltreating you. Don't worry. Just listen, like I told you, Papa already told me everything and how it happened. The worst thing that can happen to any woman is to cry in her marriage. I don't want you to die. Nobody is dying. Nobody is dying. So where's your son, Ikeel, now? He's fine. He's inside. All right. Let's go inside. Let me see. Stop crying, man. Eh? Oh, I'm here to take care of you. It's your okay, okay. Your Majesty. I have warned you before. I don't want to repeat this again. How can you be behaving like you're a woman and in cheer of your level, listening to gossips and hearsays? Well, you should you should at least have the benefit of that. After everything I had told you, why don't you just find out whether your son actually sent the money? Your Majesty, with all due respect, I will crave your indulgence to grant me the opportunity of correcting the wrong impression. What impression are you correcting? Okay, go on, correct the impression. Good. Your Majesty, first, I am not a woman. Neither do I behave like a woman. Secondly, I am not a gossip. Neither do I listen to gossips. The truth of the matter is that my son sends money every month for our upkeep through his wife. But what does she do? She diverts the whole money for her own family upkeep. Leaving us to suffer and wallow in poverty. It's okay, okay. Here you go again. Let me ask you something. Have you ever called this woman, sat her down to have a discussion, ask her her own part of the story? Your Majesty, you don't seem to know the woman we're talking about. If I call her, she would not come. Knowing full well that she has committed so much atrocities against us. Yeah, just listen to yourself. 
you have run into conclusions without even calling her. That's why I asked you that question. The answer now is no. You've never called her. As an elder, you should use your tongue to count your teeth. Call her, sit her down, ask her, and find out exactly what has happened. You can't just run into conclusions like that. Huh? Listen, don't use this thing to ruin your family and spoil your relationship with Ekena. Go and check. Your Majesty, I've heard you. you. Can't just be jumping into conclusions like that. I would like to take my leave now. It's okay. Uh, say me well to your family. It's alright, Your Majesty. Let's find out the truth. See me me like this. I know that she uses his tongue to count his teeth. Where is she? So you looked at us and you opened your mouth and said that we were shouting. Eh? Imagine. You're mad. You're very stupid by right. saying that. Oh, oh, my brother's money has turned your head. And you think you can open your mouth and talk anyhow and insult us. Eh? See, you're leaving this house today. You are leaving this house today. Wham! Nonsense. Oh, That's my name. My beautiful name. Open name of Okemaro. Rose, I personally followed Odile to this place as mother that I am. I will not watch you destroy our family. You have to leave this house immediately. Adobe. Huh? Even you? Hmm. A married woman like me? I see. A married woman? Haven't you destroyed my home? I hope you're happy. You're satisfied. Where are you going? 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 Where you going? Where are 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 you your brother's house, not your house. If anybody's gonna leave this house, it is you and you. It is you that will leave huh? this house. Yes. Watch me do it. Watch me. Hey! Chief! Hey! You must hey. leave this house. Hey! You must leave this house. 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 You must leave this Okay, 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 I don't know what this is what we are saying. Is there any before Okeke okay, is still insisting? Is insisting on what? Okeke okay, is insisting. What of the evidences I've given you people? Which Have you looked thoroughly into Enough. the evidence? Enough. 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 Okay, okay. Enough. Right. There may be some order here. <laughs> After all, when Ichi Okeke and uh, Ichi Ekenna decided they wanted to be in-laws, nobody forced them. Nobody. And so if today they have decided to go their separate ways, it is not in our place to confirm it. Our own is to advise them as members of the cabinet. If they take it, okay. If they don't take it, it is for them to decide. Um, Your Majesty, with all due respect, it's not a question of our going our separate ways. I cannot sit here and make decision on this matter. It is not in my place to. My son will decide on what he wants as far as marriage is concerned. What I'm saying here is the money that my son has been sending to us through his daughter that he converted to himself, renovated his house, and the remaining one, 
Holding in, in, in his house. I want that money refunded. Period. Which money are you talking about? Will you keep quiet? Who can keep quiet? Keep quiet. I'm talking. You are still talking. I can knock you. Who are you? Fitting on my, on, on, on my son's sweat. Listen to me. It's your okay, kid. This is the last time I will warn you about this matter. First, do not interrupt me whenever I am talking. Allow me to finish. I'm going. Do not accuse people falsely. I have told you time and time again that there is no evidence to show that your son has been sending money to his daughter. So please, allow this matter die here and now. You can't be accusing people falsely. And please, next time, do not interrupt me when I am talking. Ah, Igwe, uh, uh, you've spoken well. Thank you very much, Igwe hmm? Oh, Igwe has spoken well, Igwe. Uh, oh yes, exactly. very well. Exactly. Odema, Igwe, my elders, I want to thank you very well for the sound judgment. Okay. The, yes, that you've given in this particular issue. Huh? It is quite clear. I mean, it's obvious that there is no evidence I will give in this case that you will ever not say, uh, Igwe, you have spoken well. Oh, yes. So, can I leave now? Uh, it's okay, okay. You have been a cabinet member for a while now. You know our procedure. You cannot leave. We have other issues to discuss. Let him go. Let him go. Would you keep quiet? When, when I'm talking, keep quiet. Who will keep, keep quiet? So, you, you want to tie me here, right? Tie me and tell me I shouldn't go. I'm only respecting the Igwe. <laughs> uh, Igwe, like I said now, I'm just respecting you because there's no way I will work out on you. Eh? But I want to beg. I want to crave on your indulgence to please grant me the permission to leave because I have several pressing issues that I need to attend to. Please, so that you will not be angry that I walk out on you. <laughs> you, you can't go. No, come and tell me down. Tell me down. Why are you looking at me today? Why are you looking at me? Enough. Stop it. Please let him go. Huh? <laughs> go. Yes. That's another sound judgment. Come and hold me. Go where you spoke. Go to your house. I'm off here. Go to your house. It's okay. Let him go. Today is not cabinet meeting. Allow him. Since an elder does not want to be properly advised, his case will be like the fly that followed the cops to the grave. Oh. Cabinet members must always behave like cabinet members. Oh, yes. Can, can you imagine? Eh? What, 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 what kind of rubbish is this? Rose saving grace that day was I got there at the right time. If not, her husband's siblings, they would have beaten her mercilessly. Forcing her to leave her husband's house. Huh? Um, my son, I know where you are coming from. But it is not ideal for you to go to someone's house and fight him or her. We might tag it to another thing. And the whole world will blame you. You don't have to go to someone's house and fight him or her. Yeah, my papa, I know. I know. So, so what, what do we do now? What do we do? Because my sister is going through a lot in that marriage. 
I am involved because the cell blood is thicker than water. I warned your sister not to marry in that family, but she refused. Now, see what is happening. Love was killing her and Julius then. But, 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 but she's not to be blamed. Nobody should blame her. It's not her fault, but the fault of her husband's siblings. They are the ones fighting her, giving her trouble. I know, but the last time she came back, I told her not to go back. For her to stay till the husband looked for her. But she couldn't listen to me. What do you want me to do? <sighs> alright, alright, fine. So, Papa, like I said, what do we do now? What is the solution? Um, the case is before the Igwe and the council. The last time we discussed about this issue in the palace, Okeke was warned to stop his family from troubling my daughter Rose. Very good. So, Very good. So, so what, what, what did he say? Okeke walked out on us. What? Indicating that he did not uh, accept the guest verdict. <laughs> that means he's looking for war. He's ready for war. And Papa, we will give it to him. We are not scared of them, oh. We will fight that war with them. We will give it to them. Who, 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 who does he think he is? My son. Huh? And my son, see, no good thing comes out of war. Hold on. Let them start first. Oh? Manuoko. What, what, what nonsense? If Rose had listened to me, all these things wouldn't have happened. Okay, okay. Look at the way my sister is looking so haggard. They're giving her trouble all the time. If Rose yeah. had listened to me, all this thing wouldn't have been there. What is here? Why is this woman refusing to change? Why is she refusing to repent? I don't know. Why is she denying us of what is rightfully ours? Hmm. Huh? Hey. I mean, what have we done wrong that deserves this kind of punishment she's giving to us? Papa, here, this time I will die. Or I will die soon. Um, it's not a question of her leaving my son's house or you die. Eh? I think what we need to do is to get to Julius and stop him from sending money to us through that woman. Because now he's thinking that we are getting the money, meanwhile, we are not getting it. Quite a while. And you don't, my friend. Eh? I mean, you don't need to ask for a loan before I give you money now. Eh? Look, everybody in this village knows that you are my friend. But the way you are behaving these days, I don't understand the game. I too don't understand. But okay, never mind. Yeah? Just take this money. Go and buy some food stuff for your own family. I would have done it myself, but you know, for an EJ like me to carry food stuff to your house, it's not proper. Eh? So take the money and carry you from the bottom of that. Thank you very much. Uh, don't mention. 
Uh, in fact, this morning so heavy. This kind of morning you know, to me at this hard time, this is serious. Why are you talking like this because of a change like this? Yeah? Thank you very much. In fact, I would have given you the same. Thank you very much. Hey, hey. I To your family. Who <laughs> kick himself? That <laughs> man. Uh -huh. My in law, you are welcome. Thank you very much. You know, when you visit me like this, I am happy <laughs> because you are my in-law. And uh, I know the tradition of our people. As you came like this, I am supposed to give you cola. Eh? <laughs> but right now, it is not possible. Huh? And you know the reason. I am sure you know. Oh, you don't know? No. Ah. <laughs> As we speak, there is no dime in this house. We don't have. And you are the cause. Yes. In fact, the money that my son sends to us for upkeep, your daughter has been diverting all the money that my son has been sending to us for her upkeep. You know now, I would have given you cola. Every month. And I look at you, you are looking very fresh. And we are all suffering. You see? That is why I can't give you cola. Is she okay, Kel? Yes. Don't bother yourself. Uh. That is not one of the reasons why I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here to ask you to bring back my daughter to my house from where you took her. Since you and your family doesn't want her as a wife here. Um, you, you know now, hmm? as an Iche that you are, you know the tradition of our people. Hmm? <laughs> if you want us to come and collect your daughter, I am not the one that married her. Yeah? So it's my son that married her. So if you want us to bring her back by ourselves, then you wait for my son who married her now, so that when he returns, he can return your daughter for you. Then why don't you stop bothering my daughter pending the return of your son? But if I may ask, why do you and your household bent on killing my daughter before her time? Please let this be the last time I will come here to warn you. But who is talking about killing here? Did you hear me mention killing? But by the way, is it not better she dies? Yeah? Yes now. Instead of her to use hunger to beat us by diverting all the money my son sends to you, you're looking fresh and you are dying. Is it not better for one person to die than the whole family to die? Okay. Eh? Is she okay, okay? Yes. Since it is your tradition to kill people, Go ahead and kill my daughter, and I will make sure that you don't see this guy again for the rest of your life. Ah, Ekena! Yes? You did come to my house to threaten me? Who is threatening me? I'm threatening you. You threatened me? Oh, Mua. You did threaten the village wrestler? Yes? The village champion? Who are you? The wrestler! To... Go and sit down. Will you shut up? You are a mad Now get out of my house! You are a scallywag! Can you imagine? A pizzaker like you! You are stupid! You are a nigger fool! You are a fucking hood flesh! You came to my... Look at the expired... Uh, uh, expired beer beer! You are talking to me! Oh. You call yourself a, a, a ex-military man? Yes! The one that fought with Dengo! I, I, Did you me. fight? Second World War! Is there no place you went to watch in the barrack? You are barrack? a pizzaker! Yeah, you... Try and touch my daughter again! I will keep you where you will stay for the rest oh. of your life! Let me tell you! I no, am sir. the wrestler! The champion! If I handle you, eh? You cannot I do will, anything. I will tell you to visit. Can't. Now get out from here, you idiot. Is this a house? No, no entity like you. A scale or a piece of like you. And I do. Do I have a nickel? Were you eating before? Even though for my son's you money. How you are? You idiot. Go inside and see what you have inside. Nothing is there. Is it because you are taking all our money? You use our money to buy protectors you can only, in your house. You can only give what you have. You have hunger. I will bring hunger to people. Back and go punish you. Go punish, you. Go punish you. your family. I'm not here. I swear the be You are ending out. I'm not here. Get out if I break your head. Go punish you. You jot. Look at you. Yes. You come to my house to, to insult me. Who are you? you? Idiot. See how you are backing like a dog. Nonsense. It's your, your father, your generation that is backing like a dog. 
I will use this to break your head. Why are you running? You idiot. I do fear. How's it cost to, to come out to come and insult me? Threaten me in my own house. Look, I am a village champion, a wrestler. You you call yourself a, a military man with a damn gun. Did you fight? You were washing plates in the in the barrack. Idiot. Come here again. Uh it's okay, okay. What did you say happened that brought up this matter again? Thank you very much, Igwe. Igwe, you know that my son lives in Germany. And he earns his money as hard currency. So when he sends the money to Nigeria and they change it, it becomes plenty. And that was why he was sending us money every month for our upkeep. But unfortunately... Um, okay, okay. We've heard of enough of this, your son, who is uh, in Germany or where, sending money all the time. Even when you change the money, even if it's a big basket. Just go straight to the point. What happened? Igwe, this matter was laid to rest and resurrected. Yes, because right now, my son sent money a few days ago to Ross. And what happened? The same Ross the daughter, let me show you, diverted the money to him for them to consume. Look at it. Just look at the letter. The evidence is there. So what I'm saying, Igwe, tell him to go and meet the daughter, to bring the money so that we can share it. We collect our own portion. I'm not saying she, she should not get from me too, but I want our portion. This letter I'm looking at shows that your son sent money to you recently. You see? Um, the paper doesn't lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how we sure that this one is not lying? <laughs> Igwe, this cannot lie. You saw it now, black and white. It can't lie now. It's written by human being. Who... Ah. It's okay. Uh, oh. Are you okay? But what I want okay. to ask you? Listen to me carefully. The person that brought this letter and said your son sent money, how come he or she does not bring the money that was sent with the letter? Uh, Igwe, the, the, she gives the money to, to his daughter. He, the, the, she does not give it to us directly, it's through the daughter. And you do not have the phone number of your son to call him and ask him if it is true speak with him one-on-one -on -one to be sure that he actually sent money. That is the problem, Igwe. The number of my son is the wife, Rose, that has it. And she refused giving it to Rose. That is the problem we're having. If not, I would have called him now. So, you don't have the number of your son? Um, you even thank him for the one that he brought? It's with Rose and the father. Yes, because of her evil doings. Oh, shut, shut, shut up. Keep quiet there. Shut so, are you trying to tell me that uh, when your son sends that money, you don't thank him? You don't call him on the phone to thank him? Are you ordinary? In fact, you are the cause of this problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down. I don't want you to say anything here again. Look at you, a grown up. Sit down. A grown man like you with all the hairs all over your body. Somebody will give you a letter that is supposed to contain money. You collect the letter and you will not ask for the money. And you don't even have your brother's phone number. How do you call him to send money? Huh? In fact, you, you, are, you are the cause of this problem that I'm seeing here. A good man like you. At this age, no Facebook contact, no WhatsApp. Oh, I'm hey, don't show yourself. Oh. You have Facebook. Uh, everybody should not talk. Everybody should not. Just because you hear your children mentioning Facebook, but they say you know what's up. But I don't want to hear your At this jet, this, this jet age, you should have your son's number. You are only collecting money, you don't have the number. Igwe, we well, don't as far as I'm concerned, this matter is closed. It has been settled before. You can't continue dwelling on the same thing over and over. Your Majesty, I thank you so much. Because since he came into this matter, You've been handling it like a wise man, which you are. Yes. Almighty God will bless you. Is she okay here? I've been my good friend. 
my in law and a fellow cabinet member who should continue to be. Yes, I don't have a problem with him. Uh, <laughs> I sacrifice my love only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I sacrifice my love only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I beg to eat, but they don't get to know. Yes, in a merry, I come on the water. And a poor on a morning, and a bar of my cabin. I come on the water, or be more the water. Okay, another woman who never to see you. Let's go to my house and I will talk. Let's talk here. Alright, I'm not here. Both of us are members of the Great Cabinet, right? You are my best friend in this community, right? And I give you money at will. And you call it collect at will, right? Now, I never knew you were a very bad person. You are not good at all. As a matter of fact, you are not straight forward, you are a wicked person. I don't understand what you're saying. You don't understand what you're saying. Let me make you understand. Each time we are in Igwe's meeting, Igwe in council's meeting, and the issue between me and the general family of one what do you do? You don't support me. What? How do I support you? In the Igwe Palace, everybody believes that Rose have not collected anything from your son at all. And everything people have been talking about is our life and you want to support them. And you support them against me, right? If I don't, so do I be standing alone? Mm. Whether you should be standing alone. When you want to collect money from me, you stand alone to collect it. And now you're asking people that you should be standing alone. Is that right? I will equally not stand alone in calculating how much you have taken from me. I will calculate every single time you collected from me. Yes, and you will pay me back. Yes, but what? What? Because I, I, I am not in charge of this session. Okay, okay. That is my name. Look, don't let anybody hear our voices about this matter. Have a nice day. Move, I shoot. Come here. 
What is it? What is going on? Do not mess with me. Every second with me. This one you took police to my house. What, 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 what is it? Mr. Man, you are under arrest for beating up an elderly man. Lie! Me! Or your move? How? How? No. Officer, it's a false accusation. I never beat any, any, any elderly man. Why, 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 why are you lying? You better keep quiet. We'll get to the station for confirmation.
pick, 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 pick up. Hello, Rose. Rose, it's me, Tina. I'm fine. How about you? Rose, I am calling to inform you that your husband is back. Rose, I am not playing. Yes. A few minutes ago. And I'm giving you the key already. <laughs> yes. So, so, just hurry up, okay? Hurry up. All right. Take care. Take care of yourself. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. At last. This woman would have a complete rest of mind and enjoy her marriage. My son, it has not been easy with us at all. I'm telling you, we suffered. See. That money you are saying you've been sending to us, we didn't receive a dime. She, she. A what couple. Papa, you don't, you don't mean what you just said. Papa. Yeah. Who have you been sending to? I've been sending money to my wife through her friend, Susan. I think, I think I've sent over 10 million. What? Oh, what is your mom? No, there must be a mix up somewhere. We only saw letters instructing us on how to share the money. Hey, go, Kokoroko. I'm sure there's a mix up somewhere. I don't. How are you? How are you? As you can see, I'm managing. I heard that you're bad, so I decided to come welcome you. So how is Jenny? Ah. Well, thank God. Well, Papa was just telling me about your husband's death. I'm really sorry about that. Okay? I want you to know that God has his own way of doing things. Okay? Brother, I know this is not the right time to say this. Honestly, I didn't like the role your wife Rose played during my husband's illness. I will never forgive her for keeping back the money you sent for my husband's treatment. I think you made lots of mistakes here. Yeah. Made lots of mistakes. Which mistakes are you talking about? Papa, Mama, you both should have taken out time to call me. With which number? The number I wrote on the letters I sent now. We uh, did not see any number, what we saw was a, a letter instructing us to now. Oh, hello, Hey! 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 Sometimes don't cut people's destiny. Biko. Check out who is his young man. Biko. Man, man, man. 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 I wrote my... Ah. What is the matter? What is this? Who, who did this? Huh? Were you not the one who wrote them? I was the one who wrote this letter and I wrote my number right here. Who, who, why? Papa, I'm very sure the person who received this letter erased my number. This is where I wrote hey, my number. Hey! You see? Hey. No, this is where I wrote it. You see? 
You see? This is a criminal act. And whoever did it must be punished, prosecuted. Eh? I'm sure it is Rose that did it. It is Rose. You see, what did we do to this woman herself that deserved this punishment? She, she, she's given to us. She Just look killed at my husband. Uh -huh. It's all right, it's all right. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get to the root of all this. Hi. I'll get to the root of all this. You see? I'm going to see you! You said that it's today! Let's go make you something to eat, eh? Um, Papa, Mama, I think I'll start going back to my house. I'll see you before you leave. Julius, you know you just came. And we can't have enough of you. Eh? If it were possible, I would have uh, suggested we carried that to your massive building. Hmm? And mount it here. You know, going up and down is big work now. It's not possible now. <laughs> it's not possible. Julius, uh, Mama. I wept for you. I cried for you. Apart from the fact that Rose kept back the money you sent to us, that girl is a harlot. She brings in men into your house in the presence of your son. Of your son. Imagine. Iliha put the one after the other. Put the, put the one after the other. Oh, Mama, with what she did to this lady, I'm very sure she could even be worse than you said. Thank God you know. The other day, I saw her kissing and romancing a man. It's alright, Mama. I have to leave now. I'll see you guys in the evening. I attack the Tajamin. Now that's your, that's your wife, eh? It's terrible, terrible. Yeah. I'm looking at you. I'm I can't wait for him to see that you've grown into a very handsome young looking man. <laughs> Alright? Yes, Honey! Honey! Where have you been? Because I've not seen you since I got back. Oh, I went to see the pastor. Then someone told me we were back. I had to rush home to make something for you. Who deserved? Same pastor. So it is true. It is true that you've been sleeping with the pastor and so many other men. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Is that why you never bothered to call us to know how we're doing? And no information on your return? Really? Wait. You're trying to deny it, huh? Very well. Explain this. No, explain this! Oh, come on, darling. This was the day the pastor came to my shop and Susan equally came same day. So she asked that we take a picture. So we posed. So what about the other men that you've been seeing? Honey, you are pushing this too far. I mean, I'm sure this is not how you want to be welcomed home after a very long time. Please, let's just go and eat. I will talk about it later. You think I will not hear what you do? You think I wouldn't hear what you do? You have been prostituting in this village and you have the right to bring... Don't. Don't you ever call me a prostitute!
what is it this night? Huh? <coughs> Julius! Julius, is he back? He came back today. Papa. They are all accusing me of something I know nothing about. Nobody <laughs> wouldn't even allow me to explain myself before he started beating me and he sent me out of his house. <laughs> Stop crying and listen to me now. Now, listen. I don't know what is wrong between you and your husband, and I cannot say anything. Except that you should go back and sort it out with him now. I said that he beats me and threw me out of his house. You should go back to him. He is your husband, your choice of husband. Please, I don't want to go back there just now. Please, I don't want to go there. Rose, you must have to go back. Remember that I refused him marrying you initially, but you threatened to kill yourself. Accepting the whole consequences. <laughs> Could anything have happened to you along the line? <laughs> Your brother Akashuku came back from the city and was in a total war. <laughs> he was in police custody before he was buried <laughs> and went back to the city. Just because of you. <laughs> now, go back and carry your cross alone and stop disturbing my life. Go to our marriage. Go and marry Julius and leave me.
sacrifice my love only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I sacrificed my love oh, only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I beg to eat, but they don't get to know. Yes, in a mere, I come out the water. And I pour on a mono, and I wear a makebe. I come out the water, oh, be more the water. you had nothing to do with her anymore. Okay. What's she doing here? Rose, what are you doing here? I thought I warned you not to step your foot in this house again. What are you doing here? Susan. Hmm? Susan. That's my name. You? Susan, after everything, Everything I did for you back in school. Is this how you chose to pay me back? Why are you still standing here? Hey Rose, why are you still standing here? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this from you? What did you do? Are you asking me that? Do you want me to start counting? How many of them do you want me to count? Don't tell me. First of all, all the money I sent down here through Susan for my family, you seized them all. Yes! You! All because of you! You delayed my younger brother from traveling abroad, my sister from starting school, and all the other troubles you caused my family. As if that was not enough. You turned yourself into a village prostitute. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Please. Hold on. Sorry. Who did you say you sent money to give me? Oh, me, of course. And I gave you. Rose, I paid the money four good times to you. What? Yes! If you like, I can prove it. I have the evidence. I can bring it. 
Honey, please, this, 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 this is not true. She did not give any money to me. Susan, what have you become? Darling, I have never set my eyes on her except for the day she came to the shop and, and I was with the pastor. <laughs> Sweetheart, the same pastor we are talking about. The same pastor. She was with the pastor. <laughs> She's telling me against me. Even my mother caught you red-handed. And you're here denying rubbish. What are, you, what are you still standing there doing? You better leave now before I do something very stupid. I'm not leaving. Wait, Rose, wait, wait. I want to ask you. Can you swear before the Holy Bible that I, Susan, have not given you a dime, a cobble? Swear! The only money she gave me was when she came to my show. Hey, all that explanation is not necessary anymore. I don't care. Now get out. Get out of this house now. I'm not leaving my matrimony alone. Hey, hey, stop hey, stop this. Stop this. Stop. Rose. 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 you go inside. I don't want anyone to find you in this state. Please. Huh? I'll be with you soon. Yes. Um, hold on. Of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon this hall. And also with you. Please come. Please sit. Uh, you must be Brother Julius. Of course, yes, I am. Well, I'm Pastor Sam. Very well. Um, to what do I owe this visit? Well, actually, Sister Rose was with me in the church when she told me that you're back. So I decided to come say hello to you. Sister Rose. Oh, yes. 
So you are the same pastor that they are talking about. It is you! Excuse me. Get out. Brother Julius, what's going on? Hey! I'm not your brother. I said get out! Wait a minute. I don't understand. What are you saying? Are you deaf? I said get out of my house. Please, go, go. Go, go, go. Please, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go, go. Move. Stop. Outside. Baby, can you imagine? Can you imagine that madman? That's the pastor that been sleeping with yours. Look at what she did to me. Just look at my body. Everybody is paining me right now. Don't like that. I'm sorry. I don't like embarrassment. I don't like I'm it. I'm sorry. My son, I thank our ancestors for bringing you home safely. Um, I've heard all that you narrated. And I must tell you that it is not different from what your father has been telling us in this palace. But I find it very difficult to believe what you said that girl did. Igwe, I am... Uh, listen, this is not time to judge her. Yes. Um, Igwe. <laughs> that girl we are talking about, that woman, you don't know how. You don't know her at all. Okay, okay. Eh. You are an elder. Okay, I no no no. You cannot be in the house and then uh, go to be delivering in titas. It's not fair. You are supposed to be coming down this situation, not the other way around. Julius, I must tell you as a father and as a husband that pushing your wife with a little child outside your home is not a good thing to do. And no ear will hear it and just smile with you. It's not good. So, go and look for them anywhere they are and bring them back home before it is too late. Uh, it's okay, Igwe. Uh, it heard. is not for you to decide, okay, okay. It is Judas that will take that decision because he's the one who pushed them out. It's all right, Igwe. I've heard what you said. I will have to go home then um, sleep over it. Good. Uh, Igwe, we have to leave now. Hmm? It's all right. But if I don't take this now, it will look as if I'm not happy. No problem. <laughs> Think very well about what you just said. By the way, um, Papa, do you think the Igwe knows the gravity of what Rose did? Don't mind the Igwe. He knew I was about to hit the nail on the head. That was why he didn't give me the opportunity to speak. Eh? But he deserved the answer that you gave to him. <laughs> you understand? Yes. <laughs> so, what I would suggest them, you go home and sleep over it. Huh? I'm sure that's what he wanted to hear because it's pretty obvious that Igwe is no longer on our side. Yes, he's not. And that is simply because that stupid Ekenna has brainwashed him. Yes, very like, wicked man. Like I care. See, in any case, eh, marry anybody you want to marry. Eh? Your mother and I, including your siblings, we are all solidly behind you. Eh? Yes, but make it fast because delay is dangerous. So <laughs> you understand? Uh, not to worry about that, Papa. It don't exit this month. Hmm? Well, that's why. Eh? <laughs> it don't exit this month.
Stop, 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 stop. Hospital. Na Julius, 
I am happy that our son has finally found a woman he will marry. Ah, ah, don't say. Mm. I am happier. As a matter of fact, mm. I have gone to see that uh, useless Ekena. Mm? Mm. And I've informed him that he should be prepared. We are coming to collect the bride price we paid on the daughter because we are no longer marrying her. Uh -huh. And what did he say? Does he have any option? <laughs> His marriage by force. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that girl is wicked. Me? Yeah? Just so far does. All, all the things we are supposed to enjoy from our son. She was just taking all of them and packing mm -hmm. them to, to, to her family. What is it? I'm coming! 
Mr. Rose, please. Where have you been? Took her to the hospital. Sister Rose, is it true?
so that somebody will come and help you. No, 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 Mama. I don't want to disturb you people now. That's why I didn't knock. Sorry. This is one. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you, Onne. Ah. Hey, Mama, what, what of Papa and others? Uh, they are still sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me quickly tidy up the whole place. I want to cook for my husband before he wakes up. Try. Yes. Miss Boma. Okay. You're a good girl. Thank you, Mama. Oh, thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah, God bless you. Amen, Mama. Oh. What did you just call me? I don't understand. You don't understand. Next time you call me by my name, I will show you the difference between wine red and red. Do you think I'm rose you people ride in this house? Please, tell me what I'll be calling you so that I will not make that mistake next time. Auntie, call me Auntie. Or still add Susan to my name. I'm so Auntie! I'm sorry, Auntie. Better. So what do you want? There's the soap I dropped outside. I want to wash my clothes. I couldn't see it. You couldn't see it because I took it inside. Must you be washing every day in this house? Do you know how much they sell a tablet of soap in the market? Do you? Things are hard. Please, I beg you in the name of God, stop wasting soap and water in this house. But I don't wash all the time. The ones I wear, I wash them immediately I finish wearing them. Eh? That's what I've been doing now. I thank God you said there, the way you've been doing. Things have changed. I am now in charge. So, you don't wash every day in this house. Get out. Out! No, you just stand there and say it. Hey, hey, paint your face with this pizza. You know how much this is. It is very, very disturbing. Eh? Do you know that all these things she does, if I complain to my brother, he'll just start beating me instead of asking her first. Hi. You know, I noticed it the very first day I saw her in this house. But let me not talk much because, after all, I'm not a member of your family. She? Just, just look at Auntie Rose. She's like a mother to me. Eh? She have chased her away. Go to punish her for all I do. Amen. Go to bear. I'm telling you. Baby, what are you doing here? Good afternoon. You've not answered my question. I said, what are you doing here? I'm doing nothing. You're doing nothing. Now you listen to me. Next time I see you with this shameless thing, that day I will kill you. Get out, inside. Now! Susan, is it me you are calling a thing? Cause you are a thing. Eh, hey, boy, Susan, me! Me, Tina, a thing. What can you do? Susan, I know why I'm keeping quiet. It is because of Julius. If not... <laughs> Mama, mm -hmm. have you noticed any changes in Susan? Mm, not much. Hmm. That girl is not what we think she is. Why did you say that? On several occasions. 
when I enter the compound, I will be hearing noise coming from inside. Immediately I enter the house, everything changes. But Miriam lives there. I'm sure she has subdued Miriam, not to say anything. And she will agree? I think if um, there's any strange experience, Miriam should have told us. Mama, you need to sit her down and hear from her. Because I've heard her making calls, talking with different people. Immediately I enter there, everything will change. Sometimes I wonder where my brother picked her up from. That is not the eyes I'm seeing her with though. She will always come here very early, even before we wake up, and sweep the whole of the compound. Huh? Mm -hmm. But now that you have mentioned it, I will put my, my eyes to the ground. Hmm. Can you can hear? You need to. That girl is a chameleon. You need to, Mama. Hmm. Sacrifice my love. Only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I sacrificed my love oh, only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I beg to eat, but they don't get to know. Yes, in a merry, I come on the water. And a Come on the water, oh be more the water. Hello, Pastor. <laughs> are you surprised to see me? You are Susan. Of course, I am Susan. The one I met in Rose's shop some times ago, right? Right, Pastor. Um, by the way, how is Rose your girlfriend, or? Are you guys no longer dating? She told me you took her husband away. And may God forgive. And forgive you too. For dating a married woman pretending to be a preacher of gospel. What kind of a man are you? Now she's out. I hope you guys are dating with no disturbance, right? I have nothing to discuss with someone like you. Where do you think you're going to? And what's the meaning of this? The meaning of this is my money. I want my money. Which money are you talking about? Oh, have you forgotten so soon that I gave you 5,000 naira when I came to Rose's shop? I need that money back. Now! Well, I don't have money now, but when I do, I will give you back your money. Of course I know you don't have the money, you're a poor pastor. <laughs> You don't have come on 5,000 there. Well, it's okay. I just want to remind you of the money. But you can keep it to yourself and take care of your miserable life. Shush, get out. One thing is sure, I have a living God. He will never abandon me. He will never let me down. Shimo. But one thing is sure. I have a living God. He will never abandon me. He will never let me down. One thing is sure. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Papa. Oh, uh, Papa, I have a question I want to ask you. I'm listening. All right. I decided to come back to the village today. When I got the information that Julius is back to the village. Uh, I decided to come so we'll see how we can resolve this issue between Rose and Julius' family. So when I got to the village, I decided to go to their house to see my sister. When I got there, I knocked. Nobody was answering. I called my sister's phone. It was saying switched off. And I look around to see if I would talk to anybody. Nobody around. So I decided to come back home. 
about what is really going on. <clears throat> Have you finished? Yes. Julius, as you know, has driven your sister Rose out of his house. What? As I'm talking to you, Julius has gotten married to another girl. No, 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 it's not possible. Ah! Papa, it's not, it's not possible. Papa, tell me it's not, you're joking. Tell me it's a lie. Pure truth and nothing but the truth. She has even done the traditional marriage. So where, where, where is Rose and her son? Huh? Let me tell you, even Julius has... Oh my uncle. Um, the last time your sister came in and was complaining of how Julius was treating her, you know, I told her to go back and face him, thinking that she was joking. Before I could realize what was happening, my daughter Rose was nowhere to be found. I'm telling you. No! No! We are talking about my sister! This is my sister! We are talking about Papa! You should have called me! How? Why? Why? You should have called me, Papa! Why? I was supposed to call you, but I was pitying you on coming back, going to police station and doing all this problem again. Please, calm down. Sit down. We know what to do. Oh? Ah, Papa, 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 you didn't do it now. Papa, why would all this be happening? You didn't even bother to call me. Huh? Why? We're talking of my own sister. Ha! Julius, if anything happened to my sister and her son, Julius will never know no peace in his life. I will become his nightmare! I will fight him! I will kill him with my bare hands! Me too. I mean, okay, yeah, just calm down. We think I know what to do. Oh? Everything is not about fight, war, this, that. Calm down. You know? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Papa, Papa. Papa, you didn't do well. You didn't do well, Papa, at all. I don't even want to say what have I done to you in this village? Why do you keep going around gossiping with my name, painting me black? What have I done to you? Instead of you going back to your husband's house, you're here foreclosing into people's home. Go home, Adobe. Go home. I stop gossiping. Listen, I have not come here to exchange words with you. Just take a good look at you. You are not what people think. You are a chameleon. You are a green snake in the green grass. I just wish that my brother's eyes would be wide open to see that you have no white material in you. Well, I tell you that my husband is not as lazy as you. And I am not the one that sent your husband to the world beyond. Please, leave me in peace. You village champion. Leave me alone. Fine. I'm a village champion. But at least I command respect more than you do. My husband is dead. But you're not the cause. And you have to judge yourself. And where do you think you're going to? No, come here and stand and challenge me. Just take a good look at you. I don't blame you. You took over your friend's matrimonial home in deceit. You husband snatcher. What did you just call me? You are not just a husband snatcher. You are an international prostitute. He just called me a prostitute. You know, when I look at you, I see a fool. A complete fool of that. A fool who does not know his left from his right. You keep parading yourself in this village. The other day I heard the police arrested you. Don't worry. 
Very soon, you will go back there. Eh? Very soon, you will. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> you heard I was detained by the police. Mugu, I did not hear. I know that you were jailed in America. You went to jail. They gave you clothes, sword, and number. Not just that. When you served your gym term, you came back and you were deported. A deportee. Do you know what, who a deportee is? Someone that did not bring chicken to gum from prison back to Nigeria. Shame on you. Do you know who you are? Ask convicts. Yes, people have title. They call them honorable um, commissioner. Your own is ex convict Julius. Yes, don't talk about it. I have a present for you. I will customize a cap, ex convict. I will customize a shirt, ex convict Julio. How dare you? How dare you call me an ex convict? No, 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 no. Julio, Julio, I, I, I didn't call you ex convict. I called you ex. X X convict. So when I'm customizing your shirt, I will put X X X Julio X convict. X convict. Oh, idiot. No 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 no. Oh, what? How am I not even sure that you were the one that used her for ritual and her son? Rose and her son for ritual. Very next time you stand before me to speak shit, crack you. Wait, 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 Are you mad? Are you mad? Hey! Don't go. Don't go. Are you crying to help me? Hey! Don't go. You just leave me. I will not leave you. Just leave me. I don't have to. Can you imagine I can't? Can you imagine I can't? Eh? Shy me. Eh? Leave him and his useless father alone. Leave him and his useless father alone. Hey! See? Stop it! Papa, hey, I must steal with Akachi today. No, I am going to his house to deal with him. Your, eh? your brother. He fought my brother. Eh? Yes, your brother has already gotten himself Papa, a better wife, Papa, and eh? get to their house today and leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Allow the boat, allow the sinking boat to go down the river. Leave it. Don't, don't, don't go to their house. You do what? You start looking for white coat or white cow. Or white chicken. Since you push me down, go! This damn man! And if you provide, you. I'll, I'll push you down now. Yeah, push me. Everybody in like You will back out. You will back out. Leave me alone now. Leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Now. Leave me alone. I am not leaving. Papa, leave me one. Papa, leave me two. Uh, three. Papa, leave me three. Five. Papa, leave me four. Mm. Papa, leave me five. Yes, or ten. Papa. Enough is enough. Akati cannot insult me and get away with it, Mama. Hey. I will kill that boy today. I must kill that boy. What is going on with you children? Eh? All the ladies at home struggling with. 
with your father that he, he is going to clean like a chief. You are doing the same thing. Eh? Stop now. Open now. Mama, please, mama, please. Mama! Biko. Biko. Mama, please, oh, please. Do you know that Akachi insulted my husband simply because he's the quiet type? Allow him to go and kill that boy. What is it now, Mama? And Leave you, him away, though. You think you can achieve peace with violence? Eh? Mama, stay away from this. Stay away from this! I'm warning you! Mama, Mama, leave me alone. Mama, leave me alone. Mama, leave me alone. Mama, I want to go and kill Akachi. Mama, I want to go and kill that boy today. Mama, I will kill that boy today. I must mama. kill that boy baby. today, Mama. Baby, yes. Mama, allow me, oh. Baby, baby. Mama, leave me alone, oh. Mama, I am going to kill that catch you today. Hey. Hey. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Hey, no. Mary. Mariano! Munyem! Ah ah! Mariano! Eh, Su? Ah, Mama! Ah! Eh, make you I've been shouting! I'm inside. Mama, you're welcome. Thank you, my dear. Yeah. Thank you. How are you? Mama, I'm fine. How oh. is Papa? He's fine. Everybody is fine. How is my wife? She's sleeping. I hope there's no problem. No, Mama, why do you say so? Uh -uh. Is it a crime to ask after people again? Mama, there is nothing to tell you. Since people have decided that Rose is a bad person. So, let's manage this one. Hey! Hey! Mama, good afternoon. Oh, Mama, let's have How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Mama, you're welcome. Thank you. In, Mama, uh, hey, when did you come in? Not quite long ago. Welcome, Mama. Welcome. Oh, I asked after you, and um, she said you were sleeping. <laughs> Mama I was tired. After oh. doing all these chores, I was tired, so I decided to take a nap. It's even okay, at least for a woman in your condition. <laughs> huh? Mama, you said that. Um, how is Papa and Odi? Everybody is fine. Thank God. Uh, everybody is fine. Mama, she didn't give you anything. <laughs> Don't worry, let me get something for you. Mba, mba, mba. <laughs> it's not every time I come here you will want to give me food. This is also my house. Though. You're right. Okay. Oh, yeah? You're right, Mama. <laughs> no problem. Uh, my son, Kwan. Uh, he went out, not quite long. Uh, yes. Okay. I'll be I don't even know that Rose is as bad as this. But she always portrays herself to be to be a saint. Why? Well, I'm surprised just as you are. You see, this is a woman I married. I lived with her for months before I traveled. I never saw all the streets. That's women for you. Brother, that's women for you. You will never see their true color. Never until you are fully married to them. They will give you a child. After then, <laughs> hey, if you are good into your game, man, they will show you who they are. Well, all that is in the past now. Susan is here for me and for all of us. I'm confident. Bro, Susan is completely different from every other woman. Oh, yeah? Completely different. Do you know what surprises me about her? Brother, every morning, very early in the morning, this lady picks up the broom, comes to the, uh, of the family compound and starts sweeping before every other person could wake up. Yeah? Someone who has lived abroad, someone who has seen it all with that class. Huh. 
Make a fit to go and a milli. In car was one, and a milli and a gal or lany or two. Your tears have been wiped off through her. You have not seen anything yet. <laughs> Trust me, bro. Hey, you haven't seen nothing yet. She's a wonderful woman. I thank God that our family is beginning to revive again. <laughs> Thank God for everything. You have not seen it, sir. You have not seen anything. It's a very different woman. God, God has beginning to revive our family once again. Of course. Of course. But I can look at each other. We never come back again. That's it. I want to go. Oh, when he comes back, just tell him that I was here. Hey, Mama. Okay, no problem, Mama. Oh, mama. No Thank problem. you. Oh, oh mama. keep being good, oh. Yes, Mama. Oh, Mama. Bye, bye, bye. Greet Papa for me. I oh. will. <laughs> I will. Oh. Hey, Mama. Let's <laughs> go. Hey. Skell is not a bad girl. Ah, because he married an Igbo. She doesn't look anything irresponsible. You see why it's not good to judge people fast. Fugoni and now. The girl is not bad. She's not a bad girl at all. I'm a woman, the other of our family. I know that. Nobody is contesting that with you. Gone are the days when an old man would say to a child that what he sees while sitting, even if a child climbs the highest mountain, that he will not. I've been talking with Mama, but she doesn't want to listen. She doesn't want to believe me. I'm sure she's blinded by the shiny things she sees in Susan. Susan is a wolf in sheep clothing. I have heard so many things about her. My ears are itching. I know why I'm saying this. I don't want my brother to make the worst mistake of his life.
do not put Sansa in the Margari. Allow me to marry my husband in peace. Allow me. Husband? Which husband? I hope he will be your last pastor to your husband. Who is this almost dead cockroach? <laughs> you don't open your mouth to talk. Why am I still talking? Mm. Don't you ever try that again. You're not stupid. Idiot. That's what you are. You heard her. Stay clear. Don't be a devil to me. She's a bad girl with evil agenda. How could I know? She's a bad girl with evil agenda. How could I know? She's a bad girl with evil agenda. How could I know? I've traveled far. <laughs> Look at the way you just remembered me and bought me clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, then look at that. Amen, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. Amen, Mama. Mm. Oh, Mama, there is no amount of money that I spend on you that will be too much. Chai. You deserve everything. You deserve everything good. Chai. Mama, please, live for me. That's all I ask from you. Hey, why will I not live, Mama? <laughs> I will live. Eh? Hi! People come and see how a daughter-in-law treats a mother-in-law <laughs> with so much passion and love. Uh -huh. Not those useless girls that will be praying for their mother-in-law to die. To fear for mama. God Aye. forbid. Mama, you're not going to die. You will live. I will live. Oh. Mama, you will live I will live whether they like it or not. Yes, Can you Rose? Rose. Rose, come and see how a daughter-in-law treats a mother-in-law. <laughs> Not when my son gives her money to give me, she will use it for her family. Eh? Mama, please, Mama. Eh, forget all those things. I don't want you to remember it. Forget it, oh Mama. I am here now. I will treat you fine. Yes, Mama. I will give you all the good things you deserve. Chai. Mama, calm down for me. I'm coming down, oh, Mama. I'm coming calm down. down for me. I'm coming down. Mama. God will bless Amen, you. Amen, Mama. God will bless Amen. you. I bless you. Amen. And bless you. Amen. Whenever you got the money to buy these materials for me, God will double it. Amen. Amen. Hey, no Oh, oh. Hey, whoa. Thank you, my daughter. God bless you. Amen. Amen. 
the worst of it all is the lady's death. Even your mother-in-law too? My mother-in-law is cool, but seriously, she has beginning to give listening ear to those girls. I mean, Miriam and Adobe. Those girls are giving me tough time in that house. And I'm beginning to have it up to her. My dear, you have to be careful. Don't let the world laugh at us. If you leave this particular marriage, this will be the sixth one in less than 80 years. It's not good. It's good move. Somebody, oh. please don't kill somebody. I don't have strength to shout. <laughs> I, I see, I can't withstand to lose you. I, you're not losing me, baby. As someone, I love you. Mm. You love, but I'm such a love. I love you. I baby. kill myself for you. Oh, please don't kill yourself. <laughs> please, I beg you. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, mm. All for you. Guys. Are you serious? All for you. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I'm going to take good care of you. I have the money. So relax. God is wonderful. <laughs> By the time you are done with me. Ah. Uh -huh. huh? You see all those girls? They're the tripping. Okay, okay, fine. Don't worry, let me go. Mama. Oh. God has blessed you. You are on my own side? Yes. Ah, uh, turn all girls. It's only I know now. <laughs> then you have to go. Yes, yes, I already I've already done done with this. Okay. Waiter! Please, darling, come with the view. Okay, ma. Okay. Mm. Ma? Maybe this is the reason I'm getting more close to you. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, this is seven thousand. You can okay. have one thousand. Thank you. Mm hmm. The boy is good. I like him. Yeah, he's still warm. Mm hmm. Oh, what do you think I should do anyway? Then we'll go home and take more. Okay, drink up. Let's go. Come. of the song. Mike, mm -hmm. I I want to know, do you really love me? Do you want to marry me? Will you? 
baby, if you ask me this thing over and over again, even in the restaurant, you ask me and I say yes. Yes, I know, but I'm asking because I hate disappointment. See, baby, you think I will disappoint you? I can't disappoint you. I really love you. Are you sure? Do you mean I, I can trust you? Baby, I will say yes over as in hundred times, one million times I will say yes. I really love you and oh. I will marry you. Do you hear me? I love you too. Thank you so mm. much. Be happy. Um. <laughs> so yeah, we can sing the song now because I'm happy. Yeah, really? <laughs> Why are you talking? <laughs> a small cabinet meeting. Okay. Um, Papa, this young man here wants to see you. Yeah. Yes. Papa, it's okay. It's okay, my son. Okay, let me bring it. Papa, this is Mike. Mike is the guy I want to marry. He proposed and I've accepted. Eh? I only brought him here to introduce <laughs> him to you. <laughs> this is very good. My son, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Eh? Thank you. And where are you from? I'm from Ogidi, sir. Ogidi? Yes, sir. I'm Ogidi here. Yes. Hey! You are welcome. Thank you. And what do you do for a living? Um, um, Papa, Mike is an importer. Yes, I, I'm an importer. Yes. I, I go to China, I import things to Nigeria. Import and export. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> you are welcome, you are welcome, my son. Eh? Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> Can see my beautiful daughter. <laughs> As if you agree to marry yourself, no problem. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, my son. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Uh, are you high? Are you high? Take it easy. Sorry, no, sorry. Oh, yeah, kiss my, kiss my hand. Kiss my hand. Mm -hmm, that's like it. My boy. My boy. boy. Shut boy. up. Shut up and continue. Sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry I should do this one. Be fast about it. Concentrate. Ah, concentrate. She's a bad girl. agenda. Oh my god! He wants to kill me! Sorry, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't know. She's a bad girl. agenda. This place, this place, the edge, the edge. File it, file it, be fast. File, file, file. That's my boy. 
<laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm. Cut what? What do you my you want to cut? Are you my? Sorry. Sorry. It's because of this your cap. You're not you're not concentrating. Concentrate and do this thing. Do it. something to do and you're talking to yourself are you mad shut up let me see that part i mean the center the under let me see it turn it man turn 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 let me see it shut up shut up friendly friend bring it up raise your hand raise your hand grace What's this thing? I'm trying to. It's not as. Everything is not going up. Wash it. It's other than something. Wash, keep washing. Because at the end of the day, you'll be the one to go there. Shut up and wash. Be fast. Wash it well. Wash it well. Wash it well. Sorry. I don't want it to enter my mouth. I said, shut up. She's a bad girl. Watch this part. Watch this thing. I don't know. Maybe you start on something. I'm trying to remove it. She's a bad girl. I don't even know what to do. I'm still talking. How could I know? She's a bad girl. She's a Somebody I'm asking question. Who was that man you are kissing? Is it not somebody I'm asking? Who was that man you are kissing? Oh my god.
So, I brought this guy into the sofa. Eh? <laughs> hey, I'm a giver. Hmm. I'll get it. Kaun kezi bi. Hey, my son, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Thank you very much, sir. Um, but in this sort of visit, you should come with people. You don't have to come alone. Oh, that. Um, uh, I actually came to see you one on one. I promise you, sir. When next I'm coming, I will come with my people. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, it's sir, okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, um, Susan, please go inside and get something for him. Eh? Get him cola. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Hey, what sort of problem is all this? Susan will not kill me. Get out of the hand, Kabi. Get the can drop with that. What do you Ah, oh, God forbid, Papa. Papa, God forbid. I am not going to quit that marriage at all. Perhaps my husband is suddenly behind me. I'm just trying to explain to you what I'm passing through in that house. This should not be what is bothering you. Hmm? You should be thinking of the project at hand. Project at hand? Yes. I don't get it, which is? The house you are building. This our little house it does not visit our our settle. You have to talk to your husband to fasten it up. My husband. Yes. Please. I am begging you. Don't even go there. My husband does not know that I'm even building a house. As for the money, I will make it up. I'm going to raise the money through him. But please, not now, not this time. Everywhere is hot. Please, Papa, keep your mouth shut, Biko. It's okay if you say so. I'm just trying to tell you to be careful whatever you are doing. Papa, I understand. I'll be careful, okay? I'll just take care of yourself. I have to go now. I'll see you by month end. It's okay. Okay? I'll see you, Papa. Bye-bye. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, please be careful. Papa, relax. I'm careful, okay? okay. Don't worry. Don't bother yourself. Bye-bye. She's a bad girl. Beautiful agenda, what could I know? She's a bad girl, beautiful agenda, what could I know? She's a bad girl, beautiful agenda, what could I know? Uh -huh. But as time goes on, it began to manifest. Do you know that I later discovered that Rose is her best friend back in their school days? And why would she do such a thing? Eh? Mm, you are asking me to ask you. Huh. Mm -hmm. Follow them. 
Can I ask you something? Is it true that all the money that Julius sent home when he was abroad, that Rose diverted it to her own family, that even the evidence was there? Eh? Why would then we still be going about borrowing money from people here and there? And even her child was not going to school because of school fees. Hmm. You think about it now. Hmm. This is strange. Though. I pity her honestly. I pity her. Rose, how I wish I knew where she is right now. I would have gone to console her and keep her company. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I support you. No problem.
quarrel. Can't you get it? How could you be so mean to your sister? Why would you ask her out of your house without even hearing her own side of the story? Mama, is that what she told you? Is that why I'm here? Did you hear her own side? You just believed all the lies your wife said about her. It took me just like that. Mama, why can you say a thing like this? How can you say a thing like that? How can you say that my wife lied, to, uh, lied about her? How possible is that, Mama? You don't know your wife. You, don't, you do not know that Susan. Or say say hello. Eh? The other day, I came to your house. I knocked and knocked and knocked until my knuckles are full of I had to leave. She was inside. She didn't open the door for me. Is it because I didn't say it? Mama, so it is true. It is true that you do not like my wife. Mama, you asked for this. No, you asked for it now. Because I came back and then you told me stories. Lots and lots of stories about Rose and all her bad, bad deeds. I sent her away and now I have brought another one. Mama, you are complaining. What do you want me to do? No, you tell me, what do you want me to do? I don't understand. Can't you let me have peace? Can you joke and make one? Mom. Please, Mama. 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 I'm leaving this place. Leave now. I'm leaving. I want to go, I want to go. Chibuam. Mama. You want Mama, to leave go. there. Chibuam. So, every time, every time, every time. So, every So, every time, every time. So, Well done. Hello. And now one. <coughs> um, Pastor. Sincerely speaking, I messed up. I didn't act like a father that I supposed to. Had it been the mother is still alive, this wouldn't have been like this. Akachuku, my son, and I myself had sized for her everywhere in this village. They couldn't see her. My son just left for the city now. After we went to the police to make a report. Eh. Yes. Eh? You went to that extent? Oh, yeah. Yes. We even went to the husband's place to look for her. Only for them to tell us that. Uh, they have divorced a long time ago. Nah, you kidna. You have contacted me before going through all those wahala. Yeah. She's been in the church since all this while, sleeping there with her son. Huh? Oh, we bagwa. You don't mean it. Yes, and I'm taking proper good care of her <sighs> and the son. I'm relieved. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hey. Pastor, Sir. you see. I'm very happy for all you've just told me now. I never knew my daughter is going through all these problems. All the world. You see? It's not too late. I'll go with you and take her. This is my daughter. I'll take care of her. Hey, even the, 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 the brother will be very happy to hear this news. <laughs> yes, now you can. I'm so excited. Hey. And uh, I wish I had come to you yes, earlier than this, but. Uh, and I'm sure, very sure that she would like to come to see you. I've been going through her. Hey! Thank, thank you. you. There, no one. Well, there, no one. I have to. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. You? Hey, man, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Go there, man. Hey! Pastor, bye bye, you. All right, sir. Thank you. Nice. Hey. Hey. I sacrifice my hey. love. Yes. Yeah. Only yeah. to be a king. Of what I know nothing about I sacrificed my love oh, Only to be accused Of what I know nothing about I beg to eat But they don't get to know Yes, in a merry I come on the water This is the house so I will go in first and collect my money. Then later you will now come in. So what about my own money now? What about my own money? 
I told you about this. I found this house and show you. So I will go in first, collect my money before you. We enter. All right, if you say so. I'm going to give you just 30 minutes. 30 minutes, after 30 minutes, I will fall in there. But I'm talking to you and I'm losing my temper here.
My husband traveled and he locked the, the checkbook in his drawer. But I, I, I promise I, I'll get it for you tomorrow. See, please. I don't have time by my side I now. I know you, I understand. I don't. I know, I know you don't have time. But please, just relax. I promise I'll give you tomorrow, I'm telling me. Contractor, why are you behaving like this, eh? I, I thought we are friends. I don't know why you're behaving like this, being hard. It's not fair now. Yeah. It's, it's not fair. Oh, you think I don't know that you've been looking at me with so much admiration. And I know you you are kind of going to have all of this to yourself. Oh.
not until I met the contractor who is handling a building project and that contractor was here with us. Where is the contractor? Where is the contractor? Where is the contractor? I don't know anything. Where is the contractor? I don't know anything. Where is the contractor? What contractor are you working with? The contractor came here with us. Look at the fire here. Good fire. Look at the fire. Will you explain to me about the fire? This is the contractor's fire. No, this is a set of Officer, search everywhere. Search everywhere. I told you that this woman is dead. I've never seen him before. You mean you have never seen him before? I think he's true. You are a criminal! At the scene now, we find a dead body here. We need an ambulance to evacuate the, the cause. The, the suspect is with us, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Yeah? I never knew that genius was sleeping with his enemy. Mm. Ozobuluna Susan mm. is not just a froster, but also a murderer. Mm. A witch. I couldn't believe what my eyes saw and what my ears heard. I couldn't just believe it. Mm, I kept hey. on saying it, but no one would listen to me. I even heard that my brother is the seventh husband she married in a space of six years. Uh, well, mm. Spiritual wife. Mm. Oh, Mommy water. Hey. You, know, <laughs> you know Adobe saw this thing beforehand. Though. Eh? Yeah. But nobody listened to her. Hey! Mm, now I now know the dream I had. Oh. See, do you know I had a dream in the past? And I saw this witch with a kitchen knife try to stab Julius to death. Eh? Yes. Papa. Hey, Papa. And you couldn't mention that to anyone. Papa, why is it with words? Uh, you know, uh, you know dreams now. I was thinking it's just a common dream. I didn't know things would happen like this. Hey. And Marian said it the very moment she stepped her foot into this compound. But we didn't listen. She kept on saying that Rose is our wife. Hey. Who knows hmm. where she could be now? Who knows where that Rose could be now? Hey, why are you not one? Sister Rose, the Bible tells us that we should be submissive and honor our parents. So I see no reason why a child of God like you would continue to live in agony. Then tell me, where is thy faith in Christ? Please, Sister Rose, 
Jesus. You see, don't reason it that way, okay? It is for the better upkeep of your son and yourself. I am not complaining, Pastor. I am not complaining. I know, Sister Rose, but you see, it is said that there is no better place like home. Where is my home? Where is my home? Where is my home if not my husband's home? It's fine. No, no, Sister Rose, see, it's not what I meant, okay? Let's take it easy. No. You know, I hate seeing your tears. Okay, uh, you can stay. It's fine. You can stay and uh, don't bother going anywhere for now, please. Okay, Sister Rose, it's okay. <laughs> please, Sister Rose, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I hate seeing your tears, please. Stop crying. It's alright, please. Please, Sister Rose, please. It's alright. Please. You see, though tears may endure it for a night, they enjoy comments in the morning. Please, please have your seat. Please, please, sister. Please, 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 please. You know what you're going through is just a trial, which will soon pass. Please, please, sister. Rose, stop crying. Please, please stop crying. It's all right. Please, where is your faith? Please, See what you're going through.
See how they will get to their business partner to get any stupid information from them. As far as I am concerned, Julius will never come out of that chip. surprised about guy. Susan is a pure devil. What surprises me most is that Okeke and his family didn't find out about Susan's devilishness until this moment. Again. Yeah. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And also with you, Pastor. Um, Pastor. Sir. What is happening? As you can see, we are going to your house. Thank God we meet you here now. Let me ask again. What is happening? Where is my daughter? Which way are we following? No, you cannot. I'm as confused as both of you. I'm still waiting and looking upon the Lord. Confused one. Yes, sir. You told me that my daughter is taking refuge in your church. I called my son and broke the news to him. Only for us to go there, we couldn't see her. What is happening? No, you cannot. It was one of my church members that told me that they saw her and the son at the church premises coming to sleep at night. So I rushed down there and on getting there, I found out that she had disappeared. Are you sure she's not in your house? And then you cannot. Why would I want to hide her from her father? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not. Ow. Well, um, Papa is alright. Rose, 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 Rose. Hey! Oh, I want to see what they would do. It's alright, Papa. Huh? Let's, let's go back home. Alright, Papa. I'm supposed to tell her father her whereabouts, but she warned me that I shouldn't betray her. But uh, may God forgive me. May God forgive me. Uh, 
Sister Rose, I didn't tell anyone that you are in my place. Thank you. I don't want them to set their eyes on me for now. It's alright. Yeah. Uh, you said Rose, but you see, uh, my conscience is bothering me about lying. And uh, my mind is not at rest. Uh, let's do it this way. Tell them you are in my place and that you are safe. Pastor, they will ask me to come home. And you insist that you want to stay in my place? Easier said than done. Pastor, please. Let's keep my whereabouts unknown to them. I know what to do when the time comes. I see, Sister Rose. My God knows that I will do everything within my power to make you feel happy. Then allow me to stay. It's alright. And one more thing. I'll be traveling for a church pastoral conference at our church headquarters in Lagos in a few days' time. And, uh, I don't know. Will you be able to stay alone here without my presence, will you? Pastor, it's nothing. I can stay alone. I'm not a baby. And remember, I once lived alone in my husband's house for years. So, it's fine. All right, then. The Lord is your strength. Amen. Sister Rose, let's pray. Uh, uh, Father, we thank you for what you've been. Standard urgent. Onibo, mm -hmm. I'm in serious trouble. What happened? Onibo, Susan is about to go to jail. Is it the same case? Yes. Igwemba, I have told you there's nothing any of our kinsmen will do about this matter. Everybody in this village has been warning Susan, but yet she will not listen. Look at where she has landed herself. Onibo. Onibo, Susan is still our daughter. Huh? You cannot throw away the child, throw the child away with the bath water. Huh? Please, let us represent this case again. Let us talk to the woman again, please. Help me. Igwemba, if I had known this is the reason for calling me, I wouldn't leave what I was doing to rush down to this place. Susan is reaping the fruits of what she sowed. Mind you, no member of our kingsmen will listen to this matter again if you bring it up. I have to leave. Onibo, Onibo, please help me. You are my brother. <laughs> Igwemba, goodbye. Onibo, Onibo. Hey! You are Tami Gudishi. How can you see I'm going to put on more money. Please show me love. Uh, show me little love. Because don't be a devil to me. Unfriendly friends. Unfriendly friends. Yeah. Many, many need a bump, but now so solemn, more solemn, I do
see why it's not happening. I'm going to be so No. No. Don't say that. Don't say that. Look. I want you to travel so that you can make money for us and our born children. All right, my love. I will travel. And as soon as I'm settled over there, I will come back for you. So we'll go back together. That is if you don't go and start looking at all those white girls. God forbid. Over my dead body that I'll ever leave you. Never. Darling, I love you so much. And I can never leave you. Not even in my next life. I tried to warn you. But what did you do? You chased me out of your house. <laughs> um, Julius. Papa. You didn't try at all. You didn't. You didn't behave like the true son of your father. Okay, okay. The village champion wrestler. Ha! I mean, how can you send money through somebody we don't know to Ross? And you didn't even bother to ask her one day to allow us speak with you. Ah, no, 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 no. You fell my hand. You didn't try at all. Hey. Well, Papa, it's unfortunate Susan took advantage of of me being in jail. In jail? How? Please. I did a, a wrong business actually and I got caught up by the system. So I went to prison. No. I'm Gamble Walker. Susan was a close friend to my business partner. From what she told my business partner, that she used to be very close friends with Rose back in school. And so I instructed him to always send back money to you people through her. Since she always comes back to Nigeria. And I also made sure she never informed any of you that I was in prison. I'm sure this is what what cost all this. It's rather pathetic that uh, you went through all that to the extent of going to jail. And, uh, we still thank you for at least sending money to us even though you were in jail. But uh, all that we should uh, live in the past and see how we can salvage the situation. Now, are you saying that uh, Susan confessed that she didn't give the money we are talking about to Rose to give to Ross. Papa, she lavished all the money, built herself a house in her village. I feel so sad for the way we, we treated Rose. I 
feel so bad, Papa. Um, <clears throat> that is actually what pained me the most. To think that this woman has been so good to us, you know, she was giving me food, and uh, we picked quarrels with the father. I mean, it's, it's painful. As I'm here, I'm, I'm really feeling it. Uh, Julius, you need to do something for us. You need to go and look for her. Yes, you must look for her so that we all can apologize to her. Very important. But I told you all. I told you that Rose did nothing wrong, but you wouldn't listen to me. Eh? Let's go and look for her and apologize to her before it's too late. Fine, that is it. That one is in the past, so you heard what I said. Yes, Papa. Good. Huh? So, Ske was in us. Criminal Suzy. Ezibonyori. Susan. Ezibonyori. You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures, too. <laughs> Really going on? Eh? What is going on? Since morning we've been searching, searching, searching. We've searched eventually all the corners of this village. Still no information. Eh? Where could she be? My mind is telling me two things. Either she has gone out of this village, or she's dead somewhere. No, 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 Papa. Don't even say that. Don't, say, don't, don't, don't be negative. I know my sister cannot be dead now. Eh? Okay, if she's dead, why, why didn't we find her corpse? Even if she's dead, what, what, what about her, her, her son? Is he dead also? We need to consult Akreka the Oracle. Papa, please. Papa, no, Papa, no, please. Please, count me out. I can't be part of Akreka. Papa, you, you know they work for the devil. I mean, I don't want to be part of anything devil. Whatever it will take me to set my eyes on my daughter, I will not hesitate to do it. Nothing is compared to human life. Papa, I know, I know. Then let's keep searching. Let's keep searching. We'll search everywhere. I don't want the definitely will be we'll find out. Hey! Obi oh, dear my wife. Death has taken you away from me. Had it been you are still alive and see what rose our only daughter's marriage has turned to a nightmare. Hey! Ogugui Bagua. Good afternoon. Where have you been? Because I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you travel? Yeah. Yes. I went to my maternal home to see my grandmother. She was ill. Ah. I'm really sorry about that. Old people. <laughs> I hope she's better now. Yes, she's better now. Thank you. Um, so this one has been looking for me. I hope I'm safe. Oh. <laughs> of course you're safe. Very safe. Yes, you know, I I was looking for you to I get to find out. What's up? What's good? 
And well, I uh, I'm looking for my wife and son. You see, and um, I came to the house, your father's house, and I couldn't find them. So I'm hoping maybe, maybe, just maybe, you he you know where they are. You took her as your wife. She cannot be in our house. Uh, listen, we we had a little misunderstanding, you know, my husband and wife thing. And then she she left the house, so I that's why I'm trying to know if she came back to the house. As far as I'm concerned, she's your wife. You came to my father's house to ask her hand of marriage and you got married to her. So definitely she should be in your house. Where else can she be? Where where else can she be? I I thought she should be in the house. Oh, no, listen to me. I, I, I hate to interfere in husband and wife wish. But do not let me do that. Because if I interfere in the master, you will not like it. So I advise you go home and sort yourself out. Don't look at that. So we're going to come to this house. Watch. You sacrifice my I'm love sorry. only to be accused. Of what I know nothing about I sacrifice um, Igwe Please, you, you have to help us Please Help us talk to Ikeke hmm? Because you are the only one he will listen to In this village Because he respects you a lot huh? we, we are sorry uh, we, we, we did everything in ignorance Hey, Susan misled us. Mm. And I know not always be the last. Stand up first. Uh, sit. Julius, sit down. Thank you very much. You followed your heart. And that was what led you to where you are now. A young man like you, exposed. When you came back to this village, I told you. You didn't listen. You allowed somebody with a very little mind to deceive you. And that's what put you in this problem. You're a man who is widely traveled. You are exposed. How can such little minds deceive you? Huh? Anyway, I will do my best. Not just as a traditional ruler of this place, but as a chief peacemaker of this village. Hi. I'll see what I can do. Igwe, thank you. Thank we'll you. be very, very grateful if uh, Ruth returns back to us. Yeah? Well, that one is the fear that I have. Because news has been filtering in that she's nowhere to be found. So I don't know. But I will find out. Let's so that I can do something about it. I'll be most grateful, Igwe. Thank you very much. I'm not happy with you. Because I spoke with you before. I advised you. But you will not listen to my advice. You caused everything here. You are the one who is to be blamed. Yes. Igwe. Igwe. Don't, you did. You are the one who caused the problem. Because if you had listened to the advice I gave to you, we would not be here today. I told you to advise your family on what to do. But no, you will not. You are bent on saying what you wanted to say. Look at where we are. Igwe, I'm sorry. Yeah? I've learned my lessons. So. I've learned my lessons. In fact, going forward, yeah, we will take precautions. We will not repeat the same thing again. In fact, we are going to love Rose till the end of the world. Yeah. I hope so. I hope you've learned your lessons. Yes, we have. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Igwe. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You people did well by coming. What is the matter? Uh, Wait! Why is it? Ja, Jehovah! Ja, Jehovah! Iman, 
your mission here. Tell her why you're here. Tell who? Um, tell who? Tell Agbala your reason for being here. Uh, yeah, uh, my sister has been missing for a very long time now. Yes. We've searched all over the community, the village. North, west, east, south. But no avail. So we have decided to come here to know, to find out if she's still, still alive. alive or she's dead. Yes. Please tell us what is going on. Ja, Jiho, Ja, Jiho. I'm not getting it. Hmm. 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 Jiho. Is alive, but she's about to die. I can see she's here. She's here. I can see her here. See her. See that. Ah, mm. judge over. If the necessary things are not provided, you people will never, never, ever see her again. Judge over. Ma, ma. The words were, I, I don't understand this. You don't, you don't understand what you're saying. She, she is between. Ah, she is between the boundary of life and death. The, the wise one, is, is she still alive or from where? Oh, yeah, where, 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 is, where is she now? Please. <sighs> She is between ah. Uh, she is between the boundary of life and death. Yeah, Jehovah. Hmm. Hmm. Am I good? Uh, one more. Is she still in this village? Yeah, Jehovah. Start calling her back. We need to start calling her back now. I mean now. If the necessary items are not provided, you people will never, ah, never see her again. The wise one. What do we do for her to come back? Yes. Mm. Mm. I can hear you. 
or white goat is needed. Seven packets of candlesticks. Seven pigeons. Five naira notes. Seven. Seven pieces of ten naira notes. Seven pieces of twenty naira notes. Seven pieces of fifty naira notes. Seven pieces of hundred naira notes. Seven pieces of two hundred naira notes. Mm. Mm. Seven pieces of five hundred naira notes. Seven pieces of one thousand naira notes. Mm. I can hear you. Seven yards of black cloth. Mm -hmm. Seven yards of yellow cloth. Seven yards of red material. Seven yards of blue material. And you are also to raise. It's, it's all right. Allow him to. Wait. I am not done. All right. Let me finish. I didn't know the ego would still be willing to help us, irrespective of his advice that we turned down earlier. <laughs> My son, that is a sign of a good mission. Um, I have the strong belief that uh, Rose will still come back to us. But this time we have to be very careful with her. Very careful. Well. First, we have to pray that uh, she's still alive. Yes, because you never can tell. Um, no. As for the information that uh, Igwe hinted us about, you know he hears things before other people in the village hear them. You know, so let's see how it goes. Hmm? You can go. Yeah. Papa, I'm sure she's still alive. I really hope so. My instinct tells me that. You people should be fast in bringing the materials needed as soon as possible so I can call her back before she crosses the boundary between life and death. Um, the wise one, thank you so much. We've had it. We will soon come back. Yes. No? Thank you very much. Mm. Ja, Jehovah, Jehovah. Emmanuel. <laughs> Jehovah. Emmanuel. Seven everything. And sacrifice my life. Oh. I sacrificed my love oh, only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I beg to eat, but they don't get to know. Yes, in a merry, I come on the water. And no poor on a man. Ana bara makebe akamo de kwocha obi mu de kwocha Sorry for not trusting you. I'm sorry for for not believing you. Please come back to me. Just come back to me. I promise. I 
will make you a happy woman. I will never let you suffer. Please. Onye kam me joro, onye kam me gidere, onwe ye me redo baramo. I've heard everything you said. This is now one too many. I mean, all the accusations and counter accusations have been taken in. Okay, 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 let me ask you. Are you aware that Ekena's daughter and her child are missing? Yes, Igor. I heard about it. Okay, you heard about it. Since you heard about it, have you gone to see Che Ekena to find out what efforts they are making towards searching for these people. Um, my son here went there to find out. But they didn't give him any reasonable answer. That was not the question I asked you. I'm talking about you in person. As an elder, have you gone to talk to Ichi Ekenna? You're a cabinet member. He's also a cabinet member. At least you foster a relationship. Have you gone to check? This is what I keep talking about. What kind of thing is this? They say a river gets polluted from the top before it goes to the other parts of it. You're an elder. <laughs> Your Majesty, the situation is already bad. All we are trying to see now is how can we mend it so that it will not happen again in the future. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jane, let me remind, let me ask you. Can you revive the dead? Mbani. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's again. Uh, please okay. tell us what efforts have you made so far and have there been any results? Let's know what is happening. Your Majesty, a lot of efforts have been made by Akashuku and myself. There's no part of this village where we have not searched for her. We've gone to the police station and made a report. Anyway, I'm of one option. Maybe she's dead. I'm looking for her corpse so that we can bury her peacefully. May God forbid we're not going to see anybody's corpse. We don't see anybody's corpse. But have you checked with any of her friends? I mean, those people she mingles with, some friends, you know, all these young people. Um, I believe Okeke and his family stand a better chance to give a clear picture to that because she has been li living with them till this moment. She has been living with them till this moment. Is it that that name Okeke is too easy to pronounce? Everything Okeke. You, you know the kind of daughter you have. A complete introvert. I've never seen her with any friend before. Eh? You are saying that you come and ask me how? Well, uh, Igwe, in any case, uh, my daughter Maria is uh, living with her. Maybe she will be able to identify one or two of her friends, but I doubt. Miriam. So where is that Miriam now? She's at home. Now, has anybody called her, her number, her line to find out if she, she could be anywhere? Have you called Maria? Have you called your, your daughter's number? No, no, Your Majesty, that's not going to be possible. She left her phone in the house before leaving. Where she was living? Living how? Living to where? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Before I chased her out of the house. That's better. Because I know she did not live on her own accord. You chased her out. Anyway, take it. Have you heard anything from uh, that pastor you said? They said they saw her in this church and then after they came back and said they, they did not see her again. What, what has happened? Um, <clears throat> um, Your Majesty, I met him. 
the pastor told me that one of his uh, church members who initially told him that my daughter was staying with them came back and made him to know that my daughter has left that place ah, okay so uh, the pastor you have his number yes i do i do okay you will give me his number i think i'll give his number yes. i'll give it to him yes. to my temple without prayer notice. I'm sorry. Forgive me. That has not answered my question. What brings you here? It is barely two weeks and I see I have not found my sister. What is really going on? Judge mm. Jehovah Emmanuel. He will go back home. I will talk to Agwala. In two weeks' time, come back for your reply. Agwala, Now I want you to tell Abala that I am here. What is really going on? Like I said, boy. Little boy, go back home. Agwala, If I have to go home, then tell Agbala to give, refund the fake sacrifice I have paid for. How dare you speak such before the temple of Agbala? Do you want to test the wrath of Agbala? Huh? Go back home! I said no! I am not going! Ha! Agbala, you get it! Agbala, you get it! Ha! 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 The whole villager is up in search of you, Sister Rose. But they will never see me. Isolating yourself from everyone is not the best. Pastor, why are they suddenly looking for a never do well like me? Why? If the Lord. Smart boy, as soon as the school resumes, okay? You can uh, go to the room. Okay. I'll join you soon, yeah? I think it is high time he lets this boy know that I'm not his biological father and will never be. Don't worry, Pastor. I'll handle it. It's alright. Come in, please.
Now that we have taken the pens and completed the whole sacrifices, what am I expecting to see my daughter back home? Oh, exactly. I actually wanted to ask this question at the riverside, but I said, okay, no, let me just wait till we get to the temple. Let me not be like I, I'm too inquisitive. God, Jehovah! I'm God, Jehovah! We've done our part. Let us allow Agbala to do his own work. He knows what to do. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. Eh? Why, why is what is I don't know. Which one are you? Which one is Agbala? Agbala? Anytime you are talking, you keep referring to Agbala. Agbala. Eh? Is it Agbala you're serving or God? Let, let it not be like. I what I'm thinking of. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I get you angry, if that gets you angry. Yes, I did. And let this be the last time you talk to me in such manner because I am always surrounded by Agbala. No, see, it's, it's, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But at least we need to know. Which side we are? Is yes. it Agbala or God? Let's know. Let us not be in between these people or one. So I want to really know which one. Is it God or Agbala? We are serving. Yes. Agbala. God, Jehovah. God, Jehovah. God, Jehovah. God, Jehovah. God, Sacrifice my love only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I sacrificed my love only to be accused of what I know nothing about. I beg to eat, but they don't get to know. Yes, in a merry, I come on the water. Anabara Makebe, Akamo de Pocha, Obimo de Pocha. Is 
God, I know that what I'm about to do is not accepted by you. Everywhere we go. Yes, Papa, I saw him and he talked about Rose. And if I know any of her friends that comes around to see her, whether at the shop or in our house. So do you know who are who that is her friend? Um, whether the person is from this village or... Do you have any of their numbers? <laughs> no, no. Huh? Uh, even if the person is not from this village, eh, we, we can still go there and see them. Oh, talk now! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, talk! Oh, oh, no. Do you, wait first, wait. Do you know eh, somebody that knows who might know her? Something like that. Papa, I don't understand all these questions. Eh? I see I'm in, in, in a damn hall. Wait, guys. So I'm not a guy. I talk. You are, you, are, you, 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 you are telling us as if we are questioning you as if you are in an exam hall. Eh? So you, you cannot even know friends of your sister. You stay with your sister all these years. Oh. So are you saying that you've not... Okay, let's even say phone call. Have you heard her make phone call with anybody oh, before? Or do you have her phone number? Papa, I don't know any person. The only person I know is only the pastor that used to come to the house and she shares her problem with him and apart from the pastor, I don't know any, I don't know any other person. Or, 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 or do you have any of her friend's number that you can call the friend, the, maybe the friend now call her? But I don't or, have any... Or, 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 do, or do you, for instance, 
she might be making a call mm. and you are standing by. Hello, Stella, I can hear you. That kind of it Did you hear any name that she called when she was making calls? Papa, Isn't no, it? I don't. I don't know any person apart from that pastor. I don't have any clue. I don't know any person. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Is there any of our friend compliments? Com complimentary. Complimentary card but I've not, that I... you might pick somewhere and kept all this while you don't have it. I've them. not seen any person. Okay, so are you know. wait? Are you saying that even as she's in the house? People don't come in to set things for her, you know. You women, they will bring bags, you know, yeah. dresses, I, perfumes, I uh, make a foundation. You know why we are doing this is because uh, it's just for the interest of Rose and Ikenna. Okay. What kind of sister do you have? That you don't know anything. So you just stay, that's how all you do is to eat food. You don't know anything about the person you are living with? Papa, Isn't no, it? I don't I don't know any person apart from that pastor. I don't have any clue. I don't know any person. I don't Every day, pastor, pastor. What do you have with that pastor? Only the pastor you know. All these questions, eh? Why well, are all these questions? I don't know any person. If I know, I would have told you people now, eh? The person you are living with, you don't know any associate of her. What kind of person are you, sir? Eh? If we have this number, if you had given us numbers, at least we would have called our, our, our son to, to, to know. Sacrifice my love only to be a kiss of what I know nothing about. I sacrificed my love oh, only to be a kiss of what I know nothing about. Um, I summoned this meeting for us to try to prove a solution to the problem we have at hand. I strongly believe that uh, 
Rose is no longer alive. Yes. So as such, we need to find a way to meet our in-laws, you know, Ekena and family, and uh, try to map out modalities to mourn her, you know, in line with our tradition before our son goes back to his base. Now, Julius, I disagree with you. Fine, we can go and see Ekena okay, in his house. But when we get there, let us not be the first to announce the death of, the, of their daughter. Let us keep quiet and wait for them to say it. When they bring up the topic, when it will be. As for our son going back to his base. Eh -eh. The problem is not just the death of Rose. But also that he is involved in the death. Sister, Sister Rose is not dead. I can't believe she is dead. I can't believe that. My mind is telling me that she's still alive. And one day I'm going to see her again. Bejonu! Who asked you to speak? Eh? By the way, uh, Ine Julius. Who asked you to, to, to invite this little brat to a meeting of elders? Papa, 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 please calm down, okay? She only said her mind. Don't ask me to calm down! Eh? What does she know? After all, she's been living with Rose all these years. But she has not been able to identify a single friend of Rose. Asking me to calm down. Papa Julius, also go no. Eh? Just calm down, eh? so. This is a meeting. We are all expressing our feelings, saying our minds. She's not bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, Odile, okay. tomorrow morning you are going to call uh, Echendo for me. Hmm? Tell him uh, he should see me for us to have discussion over this matter. It's not only Echendo. You have to call some of your other kinsmen. Uh, let it change to come first, then uh, we can discuss internally on how we're going to move. Then later we can invite the other people. I remember if you call your daughter someone at your bigger app. Pastor, I know that you would take up your disturbances now that you're back. Sister Rose, please try and understand me. See, I made a vow to you that I will not tell anyone by my place. I also made a vow to the Almighty God that I will not lie to anyone in my life. Sister Rose, your father needs you. Your brother is restless. And Julius and the entire villagers have been searching for you endlessly. Pastor, there you go again. If I was in the mad people's home, would they need me the most now? What if I had died? I cannot even stand my husband face to face. Not after contaminating my matrimonial bed with, with his harlot of a friend, Susan. Where do I start from? Tell me, Pastor. Pastor, he sent me out in the middle of the night with my little boy, his grandson, not minding. What if I had died that night? What would have been his fate by now? This world is so wicked. It's not a good place to live in. Outside. 
Man, I will understand. I am no longer welcome. I promise I would live with my little boy and we would not disturb you again. Pastor, I called you regarding one of our daughters who is a member of your church. Her name is Rose. From the information I gathered, she was last seen in your church. Would you know anything about her whereabouts? Because she's not missing. You speak the truth, Igwe. I don't know her whereabouts myself. As I speak with you now, I've asked all the members of my church. And the answer they gave to me is not favorable at all regarding her whereabouts, Your Majesty. I did not want to call you on the telephone because uh, this kind of matter to be handled. I'd like you to know that I am not just the traditional ruler of this community. I am also a retired DIG of police. From the information I gathered, you are Rose's only friend in this village. Not just that, you are also a pastor. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. You told Ekena, Rose's father, that she was taking refuge in your church. But she left with no trace, Your Majesty. Hold on. Someone told you she had left or you discovered it yourself. The question. Uh, yes, someone, someone, your majesty. No, I, 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 I discovered it myself that she's no longer in the church premises, your majesty. Mm. You were seeing her in that church taking refuge, or someone told you. I saw her myself, Your Majesty. And when you did that, did you take your time to inform her father, her parents, that Rose was taking refuge in your church? Knowing that she was missing, you were looking for her. No, Your Majesty. I, I didn't know she was missing and they were searching for her. You are a pastor. Ordained man of God. Look me in the eyes when I speak with you. Talk to me as you will speak as a representative of God before your congregation. Where is my daughter and her child? I'm sure you know them.
I'm fine now. Please, that rat poison you gave me the other day, it mm. didn't work. Oh. I don't understand. I used it and it didn't kill any rat in the house. As a matter of fact, all the rats are still disturbing. Yeah. Sorry about that. Eh? Hmm? It must be one of those fake insecticides that is in the market. I think I will return the remaining ones to them and get my refund. Please, do you have another one I can buy? Yes, I have. This one is more costly and very active. It can kill any living thing instantly. Please, can I have it? This is the best of them all. This very one is the original one in the market. It can kill and very active. Please follow the instruction here very carefully before making use of it because it is very harmful. Even the smell alone can kill human being. How much is this particular one? It's supposed to be 1,500, but because of the complaint, I'll give it to you 1,300. Remember what I just told you. Follow the instruction, please. It is very helpful. Huh? Okay. Oh, this change. Put uh, this one whenever you are passing. No, 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 no problem. Don't worry. Uh, that you're tired of me staying with you in your house. Ah, don't you listen. I'm just reconsidering my vow that I made to Almighty God never to lie. And what happens to your promise to shelter me without anyone knowing? Sister Rose, your father and the entire community will never be happy with me. He finds out that you're in my place and I hid it from them. Since all this while after searching for you. So? Let's do it in a stylish way. Stylish way. Yes. How? By telling your father. And what do you call it? Betrayal. Well, oh, don't you think so? Sister Rose, for how long will you be hiding from your father? Until God's time, Pastor. Pastor, you will do no such thing. It is for your own good, Sister Rose. Trust me.
Good. good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Yes. May God bless you. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, please, there is something I want to tell you. What about it? It's about uh, Sister Rose. Yes. She came here and purchased a, a rat poison, an insecticide. To my own surprise, after a few minutes, she came back telling me that. Uh, this exercise did not work, it did not kill anything. So I, I don't understand what she wanted. So is that why you stopped me that you want to tell me something? Uh, yes, I was thinking maybe you might know something about it. Oh, please wait. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, please, I'm not done here, please. Let me finish explaining.
but it will take my life. That will join you. She cried to me that she had suffered in the hands of everyone, including her own biological father. Everyone rejected her and tagged her as a mad woman. So with this and some other things that I may not be able to tell you now, she swore that over her dead body will she set eyes with her father or any of her husband's family again. So I swore to keep her secretly in my house. But well, days back I summoned the courage to go and tell her husband about her whereabouts. But when I got there, I was carried away with what I saw, so I didn't remember to tell her husband again, Your Majesty. Hmm. Are you sure she is still alive and in your house as we speak right now? Yes, Your Majesty, with a child. Your Majesty, it might be difficult for him to believe me. He may, he may target another thing entirely, Your Majesty. When you get there, calm down. And then, narrate everything to him, just as you have done here. Everything. All right, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have my eyes on you. that she's alive. That is step one.
this is the news. Don't tell me it's this sad. Please cheer up. You see, the Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Please, the news. You betrayed me. Oh, please, Sister Rose, it's the best for you, please. It's okay, my daughter. Please, Sister Rose. It's okay. Hi, Sister Rose. Please. Please. Forgive him, please. Stayed long enough in this room. Console yourself. That is life for you. Huh? This is too much. I know. It is too much for one person to bear. I know. I know. Julius is also in pain. Guilt and has tried to commit suicide. Susan is in jail. If I were you, I would stand up and forgive. God has vindicated you. Rise and shine again. Think of yourself. Think of this little boy of yours. Think of the future. Eh? I've told him to come back tomorrow. They should leave and Never come back. They should go. They should leave me alone. There is no smoke without fire. We all know who caused the problem. Susan. Because she was bent on causing confusion and disunity in Okeke's family. Now, where did it land her? Life imprisonment. Life imprisonment. Why would somebody be so wicked? Anyway, I beg of you, as it is like this, please accept Okeke and his family back. Yeah? So that there can be peace. Our people usually say that there is no peace without war. Now, you have fought all the wars, and now peace has returned. In all this, you won. Your son won, and your daughter has climaxed everything. So I beg of you, accept them. I know that you always uh, listen to my words and take my advice. Uh, this one will not be different. <clears throat> Your Majesty. Thank you so much. I've had you. Um, I have to go home and sleep over this issue. Because our people say that he who is fast in accepting things might accept what he's supposed to refuse. And he who is fast in refusing things might refuse what he ought to have accepted. So please, I want to go home and sleep and think over this. <laughs> this is why I always say you are the true son of your father. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Mugu. Let's take our leave. I got the room. Thank you. I'm my son. <laughs> no fighting again, eh? All right. <laughs> My in-laws, you are welcome. I asked you people to come today for us to discuss on what to do for my daughter Rose. You see, in life we make mistakes. But the worst thing is not correcting our mistakes. I've decided to forgive and prevail on Rose to forgive too. No, he's referring to her spirit. Her spirit? No, I'm referring to her flesh. Pastor, tell them. Well, this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On that fateful day, Hold on, you've not even allowed me to finish explaining things to you. Explain what? What are you explaining about that you sold a sniper to her? A poison? Sir, it's not what you think. That very day, I saw her around your house. And when I saw her, I noticed she was into some trouble. So when she demanded for the sniper, I went inside and took an empty can of sniper, filled it with some mixture. So when she saw it, she believed that it's original sniper. Yes, and... That mixture is a capable of indulging one into sleep. And it knocks one off instantly. Oh. Yes. Are you sure of what you're saying? Very sure, sir. Oh. Glory be to the Almighty God. Listen to me. Do not tell anyone this, okay? Trust me. Good. Oh. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Then I went to Julius' house and tried to inform him to come with me. But that was the same day he attempted suicide. Um, from that day, we've done everything quietly. But the most important thing is that my daughter, Rose, and her son, Ikenna, are still alive. Happy seeing me. Oh, 
has the hatred she has for me risen to this level? No. She is still my wife and she said it in the presence of everybody. I don't mind if they say I should do the wine carrying over again. Rose. Rose. Thank God that you are not there but alive for me. My people like greet you all. Well, today marks the end of the um, war and trauma between the KK family and uh, Ekenna's family. Today, finally, the peace and unity that should reign between them has, has been restored. And we have our daughter Rose here and her husband. It is because of them that we are here. We want to bring them back together. Isn't it, my people? It's true. Right. Uh, so, uh, Ichekenna. Igwe. The ball is in your court. Um, with regards to your advice, which I've carried out, I've handed everything over to God. I cannot sit here and tell you what Akachuku, my son, and I went through in looking for my daughter. Putting legs in between life and death. But all the same, glory be to God. Um, my daughter Rose, he who laughs last, laughs best. But let this not repeat itself again. Uh, Umban, it can never repeat itself. Uh, I have learned my lesson. And um, in short, all of us, we've learned our lessons. So it won't repeat itself again. <clears throat> Your Majesty, my people, today is um, the happiest day in my life. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone here present. And also, a big thank you to the pastor who saved my life and did lots of contributions. My wife and I have nothing much to say. I'm happy today that she has forgiven me and also put the past behind us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming into this hotel. No doubt. Julia's here. Was my husband. And the father to my son, Ikin. I have forgiven him and I have put everything in the past. But I will not forget all I went through. The hearts of Julius and his family. Igwe, they can take Ikena because he's still their son. But I, Rosalie, I will never live with Julius. I saw you spend your life. Not after everything I went through. They say it is good for every woman to taste marriage. 
get married and live with your husband. But instead of marriage to kill me, I would rather kill the marriage. My king, I'm very sorry. I am not trying to rubbish your efforts gathering all of us to your palace. But please, allow me to follow my heart as God has led me. Ruth has a point here. A very good point for that matter. Oh yes, this man. Why are you always a spoiler? Eh? She has a point that she's going to leave my family or what? Which point are you talking about? What? But, but didn't you hear her point? Since this matter started, you beat the one, put in fear and, and, and put in fire. This is serious. Ibu. Ibu. Ibu, please, I don't know. If you can permit me to talk to my wife, I mean our wife. Uh, uh, Your Majesty. The, the wind has already blown the and foul animals have been seen. What is the need for this secret meeting again? Whatever she has to, she can say it here. Um, the thing is that uh, the women usually have their secrets. Maybe there are some things they need to talk about. Allow her, go with her. Me. Let's go. She has a point. Which point? Instead of you to repair, you are only destroy. Me? Yes. She made a point. No, yes. I mean, we are the same. We are the same. Personally ashamed and sorry for everything we have done to you. Become my daughter. Forgive us. We were acting on forces that were beyond us. Please don't leave us. See, eh? Henceforth, I will start treating you like my own daughter. I will do whatever you want me to do for you. Please don't leave us. Be gone. Forgive us. You know, as a woman, there's not much I can say in the presence of the Igwe and his cabinet. That was why I decided to bring you out. Forgive my family. If you leave us, we will not be as united and the way we are. It's okay. I've heard you. What? Dry your tears, oh? Dry your tears, one. Dry your tears. The people don't leave us in home. Thank you. Uh, 
we have talked and the future looks greater uh, she has agreed to put everything behind her oh. Igwe, like they say, if someone is into any particular business and is not yielding anything good, he or she stands the right to change that business. That proverb is confusing. Take very good care of him. For Miriam, it is only God in heaven that will bless her for me. But in our next generation, I would love for us to appreciate our wives. Trust them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Agenda. She's a bad girl with evil agenda. 